Good afternoon, everyone who's gathered here on the Moorhead City Waterfront. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Welcome to day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Of course, welcome to everybody who is watching us here on Big Rock TV, Facebook, YouTube, the Big Rock app, Curtis, thebigrock.com. You can find us out there somewhere. Uh, we're off to a great start, Curtis. 266 mm -hmm. boats uh, this year. We're getting ready to welcome the Mercenaria. You better hurry up because he's right here. I know, I know. He's a right around the corner, foot people. Viking. He, he won't be, he'll be two or three <laughs> more minutes away. Neil Sykes, our captain here, a uh, boat apparently from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, and Curtis, we'll probably talk about the tournament a little bit more too. But folks, this is for y'all who are gathered here. Um, you know, I was thinking about it. These guys have been up since 2 or 3 o'clock this morning. They've been fishing hard all day long. When they get here, we want to welcome them to Big Rock Landing. Yeah. So, uh, so you'll you'll know what your cue is. You'll hear the uh, you'll hear the swell come up, and uh, we want to give them a, a sure enough great Big Rock welcome huh? as they back into the slip with the first blue marlin of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. And just to interrupt, we just boated another blue marlin out at Atlantic Ocean, so he'll probably be in in a couple of hours. Okay. But anyway, go ahead, yeah, Tommy. So, yeah. so uh, I guess we'll be we'll be earning our money today, you know, right, Curtis? You know, I got to tell you, this is <laughs> you know I've been home all morning with the radio on, listening to Randy and and all the captains speaking, and it's something about the first fish boated in the Big Rock every year. I I got hyped up, I got showered and dressed and ready to come down here, and it's uh it's exciting stuff. We have no idea how big this fish is, but we know he's at least. 400 pounds or 110 inches so yep. that is some kind of fish as you'll see here shortly how many out here have seen this before been to the way station before there you go there you go yeah. it, it never gets old does it never gets old well, it's, it's fantastic and we're glad to have you back of course and we and we do want to welcome the guys uh, and gals when they come to the way station uh, who was the other boat do we know silver lining the silver lining that's a boat out of atlantic beach they go by my office every day how about that um Another Viking boat, I believe. So that'll be great. A local boat has uh, landed a, a fish, apparently. Um, Curtis, I know we'll, we'll look up the silver lining here in just a minute. Um, something new this year, the Super 20 mm -hmm. category. Um, $1.1 million in change in that category alone. The Mercenaria is in that category, so there could be a lot of excitement. That also means they're in the first 500-pound mm -hmm. fish boated category so one thing we're going to be looking for here obviously 400 pounds uh, is the first mark but over 500 pounds what's that prize money seven hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars and change and how about that and that is how about that that is earned right on the spot so there's uh if you're the first one you win the money and we'll have a check down here one of those yes, big sir. ones. Yes, and it's uh, it's exciting stuff. And, you know, we'll keep you abreast on who's entered in all the categories, what categories. But right now, the two boated, I believe, a silver lining in. in and Mercenaria. And yep. Mercenaria are yep. both in the big category. Yep. Okay, they're both in the Fabulous Fisherman and the Fabulous 20, the big 20. So uh, you all stay tuned because, hang on a second, let me see where he is. Yeah, and while Curtis is looking, let's just kind of give you an update of what you can expect today. Uh, we'll be here with you through the scales closing at seven o'clock um, the scales will be open until seven for all game fish we're looking for dolphins wahoos and tunas today we won't know what they are until they get here and of course the scales will be open as long as needed to weigh in any blue marlin they are here so let's go okay right, here, here we, we go. go give them a welcome
All right, everybody, let's welcome the Mercenaria here to Big Rock Landing. There you go. I think even the guys that have been here more than once still think it's one of the highlights of the sport fishing world to back into the slip at the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament with a great old big blue marlin in the cockpit. And just to give you an idea of what's going on, uh, our waymaster is uh, Randy Gregory over here in the white shirt standing down on the first level of the way station. George Lott is his helper here. Randy's going to get a little information from the captain. Got to do a little regulatory work, some permits and those type things. Get our scales zeroed out here and ready to go. Randy's going to ask permission to get on the boat and they'll uh, Hook him up and pick him up here in just a second. I can't tell. They all look damn big to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Curtis, you know, here's one of the one of the tricks of the trade. They've got some wet blankets covering them up, yep. trying to maintain that weight as much as they can. You know, it is, it is expressly against the rules to stick lead weights down their throat. <laughs> or anything. Yeah, yeah. This isn't NASCAR, you know. I will say this one thing. It's a fat fish, okay? Right now, for those that are watching at home, they can see what's going on, but Randy and George are measuring the fish the best that they can. The tournament minimum is 110 inches fork length. That's from the tip of the lower jaw to the V-notch in the tail. So the tournament requires 110 inches or 400 pounds to be a qualifying fish. All right, here we go. Yeah, we need to encourage the guys pulling on the rope. Okay, a little noise out here, a little noise. Let's go, here we go. go keep on going look at here look at here another 30 seconds to 60 seconds to go here how about it guys what do you think Curtis, I would say we're off to a very good start. Uh, I don't know. It's a big fish. How many think it's 500 pounds? How many think? <laughs> hey, crew, what do y'all think? What do you think? <laughs> I know what you're hoping. 
All right, 572 pounds and some change. That's going to do it. Go. <laughs> How about it? All right, our official weight is 572.6 pounds. This boat is entered in the level five fabulous fisherman's level. Sponsored by MTU, Western Branch Diesel, and Johnson and Towers Power. And they have just won $777,750. Right here on the spot. Say something real quick about sure. Johnson Towers. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And this boat, MTU Power Boat too. You, that's so that's works, your cue. Right? Okay. All right. I'm pleased to be joined now by Bob Shomo Jr., who is the senior vice president from Johnson and Towers. And uh, Bob, Bob, just tell us about sponsoring this level real quick, and, and something about this boat maybe. Well, you know, we're really honored to sponsor this great tournament, and uh, Johnson and Towers Western Branch and MTU Engines. You know, we're a distributor for MTU engines. This boat is powered by our MTU engines, so it's only fitting that they win the, t win the uh, Fabulous Fisherman Prize. Perfect. And, and on behalf of the board of directors of the tournament, thank you for your sponsorship. What a way to kick off day one. That was quick. And, that was and, quick. and one, of your boats, uh, one, of your, uh, one of your boats with your motors. That's right. Yep, MTU power, baby. All right. Well, let's, uh, we'll wait for things to settle down here a little bit. I'm sure the crew will... If they're not out, they're over there. Yeah, they're over there with all their fan club right now. They'll be over here for some pictures in a minute, and Bob will uh, get you to make a presentation here shortly. All right, let's hear it for our angler here, Matthew Brown. There you go. 572.6 pound blue marlin. 
of course, our leader. We'll tell you how much this fish is potentially worth at the end of the day right now. But pocketing that $777,000 level five, fabulous fisherman's level right here on the spot. Bob from MTU and Johnson and Tires is gonna join him here in just a second. And of course, we'll have it for you right here on Big Rock TV. I imagine those smiles will get a little bit bigger later on this afternoon. Up, boys, boys. There you go. <laughs> All right, Bob, jump in there and let's give him this check. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Beautiful fish. On behalf of JT and MTU, congratulations. Perfect. Thank you, Bob. All right, guys, they've all got on uh, got hats with the fabulous fisherman's logo on it. Time for another picture here. And when we're done here, we'll we'll try to we'll talk with our angler and our captain, hopefully. All right, how about it there in the uh, fabulous fisherman's hats? Seven hundred seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and fifty bucks, right here. Five hundred and seventy-two point six pound blue marlin. Obviously, your leader. Curtis, we got to talk about how much money this thing is potentially worth. Guys, the purse this year is pushing $5.9 million, $5,858,875. If this fish holds up, you can add, I don't know, two and a half million more dollars a total potentially for this fish three million four hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars how about that is that all y'all got three and a half million to spare apparently <laughs> i would think it'd be worth a little bit more than oh yeah all right maybe not Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I'm joined by, by our angler here, Matthew Brown. Yes, sir. Matthew, it's, it's fair to say you've had a great day. Unbelievable. Tell us about your trip today, so particularly up to this point. Well, it was a little slow in the beginning. Um, not much bites going on. Typical uh, mercenary of fashion. Matt, you're up. <laughs> and get in the chair and um 25 minutes later he's on board there you go. so were, are you guys on the 30 minute system the hour-long system in the chair uh no nope it's a uh, round robin so whoever's up next gets in the chair and it's your fish until you give up until you give up, until you give up. <laughs> if you would give up i don't think i would I, got you. I did get sick afterwards i'm not sure i think it was adrenaline <laughs> but it's all better now. <laughs> now, Matthew, tell us about your crew. Is this is this a normal crew for you guys on this boat? It is a normal crew. Um, my boss, Chad Ballard, is obviously the owner. Uh, Tim Rapine is the chief operating officer of the company. He works for the company as well. And then we got the mates and the captain, and it's been a great day. I would say that's the understatement of the year so far. Oh it's it's been a great it's been a great day. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little better. And you're going to turn right around and probably go again maybe tomorrow, but you got three days left. you got to turn around and do this again, too. Yeah, I don't know I don't know if we're going tomorrow or we're going Wednesday. I don't know if that's been decided yet. I think it's looking a little gnarly for tomorrow, but we'll be back out there. I don't mean to hold you up. If you need to get in your pictures, go, go right ahead. 
And certainly we want to talk to Captain Neil Sykes here if he has a minute. Thank you, Matthew. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Captain Neil Sykes, welcome to Big Rock Landing. How does this feel? It's pretty good. I enjoy being here. Is that it? Yeah. It's, I'm taking it in. <laughs> it's awesome. I know M Matthew said um, a lot of adrenaline expended there. How was it uh, from your perch up on the bridge? I was more nervous on the ride home, just staring at it, just hoping it's going to be 500 pounds. Than it was, thank goodness. What did you legitimately think? I know there was probably a bet in the crew in the cockpit what it was going to be. Who who got closest to it? I'm not sure who. I think who. I don't know. It was like five. I heard 520 a couple times. I didn't guess. I was like, I'm I'm out of this. <laughs> you don't want to jinx anything. I, I understand. Well, Neil, um, I know this boat has fished in the tournament uh, for several years, if I'm not mistaken. How many visits have you made here to Big Rock Landing at the way station? This will be the fourth Blue Marlin I've weighed. So just just old hat for you, huh? <laughs> no, I wish it was, but no, I've just been very fortunate. This is, uh, needless to say, is this your biggest payday so far in the Big Rock Tournament? Hands down. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. Y'all, Cap Captain Neil Sykes here on the Mercenaria. Winning that level five fabulous Fisherman's Club prize right here on the spot, $777,000 and some change.
Okay. Well, friends, we've got a, uh, we're honored to have with us at the moment the Lieutenant Governor of the great state of North Carolina, Mr. Mark Robinson. Mark, welcome to Big Rock Landing. What do you think about this? Well, uh, this is the first time I've ever been to this. Uh, you know, I grew up landlocked in Greensboro. There's nothing like this where I live. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'll tell anybody, if I had to move to another part, another part of the state, uh, I think this would be at the top of the list. We love it down here. This is a great place. We love it. Yeah, well, we, we thank you for being here, and thank you for drawing some attention to, uh, to all the great things that happen here in Moorhead City, and particularly the Big Rock. Um, are you going to move down here? You got a second home down here? What's the plan? I don't know. I'm trying to talk my wife into getting us one down here because I'm going to tell you, I absolutely <laughs> love it. I'm not, a, I'm not a water person. I don't do boats too much, and I don't really swim. Uh, but I'm telling you, there is there are coastlines all over the world, but there is no coastline like North Carolina's coastline, absolutely, hands absolutely. down. It is the best well, coastline in the world, yeah. and we love it down here. Well, that, that's great. How are things going for you in the great state of North Carolina? They're going, they're going great. North Carolina has been good to me. Uh, I've been all over the world, and there's no other place that I would rather be than right here in NC. We love it here. We absolutely love it. Yes, sir. Well, well, listen, thank you for taking time out of your busy day. I know, although you don't look too, too busy today, No. go on and enjoy yourself for the rest thank of the day. You. But thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you for your time. You're very gracious. Thank you, sir. We yes, appreciate sir. it. Have a thank great you. afternoon. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lieutenant Governor of the great state of North Carolina, Mr. Mark Robinson. Interesting little tidbit here. You see this hook right in the corner of the jaw of this blue marlin. That is not the hook that caught this fish. This fish has been caught and released before, apparently. So catch and release actually works. How about that? Good job, Steve. Thanks for bringing that to our attention. You can see that circle hook embedded right there in the corner of its jaw. Obviously, we're going to take as many pictures as we need, and I think, uh, you know, ultimately we'll get Matthew and Neil up here to talk to the press. They're patiently waiting.
All right. Here goes the Mercenaria, your leader right now in the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament and, of course, the winner of the fabulous Fisherman's Club Level 5 prize right here with a beautiful 572.6-pound Blue Marlin. Captain Neil Sykes and crew, congratulations, fellas. All righty. I'll stick around here for just a second. We're going to be joined by Crystal. Are you our former executive director? Does that sound right? My gosh. And our new foundation director, Ms. Crystal Hesmer. And we've got a uh, some special things coming up for the Big Rock Foundation that we're getting ready to talk about. So those of you that are watching at home, uh, you're going to get to see some great video here in just a minute. So stay tuned. We'll be right here with you joined by Crystal Hesmer from the Big Rock Tournament Foundation here.
All right, well, welcome back to our continuing coverage of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Uh, Tommy Bennett here with you again, and I'm pleased to be joined by Crystal Hesmer, who is our immediate past director of, the, of all of our tournaments. And um, Crystal has retired and gotten another job real quick as the director of our foundation. I know those of you who are interested in the tournament know that the tournament does a does a great job with a you know world class event, but really at the end of the day, it's all about raising money for worthwhile charities. Crystal, we gave away a million dollars last year. We did, and it was fantastic. You know, when I first started with the tournament, we gave a hundred thousand dollars away my first year. So for my last year to give a million dollars away, I feel pretty proud of that. Yeah, well, I think when I started, we gave away about fifteen thousand, and we thought that was a lot of money. Crystal, I know, you know, we, we've probably got records back to the mid-80s. We're, we're talking about a lot of money that this tournament has generated over the years for charities. Over $7.5 million. Yeah, yeah, $7.5 million. A million dollars of that that came last, last year, year alone. Um, Crystal, the, the foundation was started a number of years ago, um, you know, just to make sure that that group of core charities would receive an annual contribution since then we've we've blown that goal away let's talk about the foundation today well you know as the tournament continues to build so does the foundation and we're real proud of that and we want to keep that going as long as we can you know the tournament has given so much away to so many charities and we want Carter County to benefit every year in the biggest way possible um, you know, we're building that foundation and, and, and making money on that foundation that we can continue to give for many, many years. So our goal, you know, really is just brand awareness for the foundation. Right. And there's the, the foundation receives income from lots of different places. Obviously, the tournament is one. Um, we talk about the Big Rock store, uh, which is literally, for those of you that are here on the waterfront, is literally right behind you. Um, you know, go over there, buy anything Big Rock related. Uh, you, you've got to have a T-shirt, if nothing else, and a hat and an umbrella yesterday. It, you know, it, trust me, it will say Big Rock Tournament on it. But the money that's the profits that are generated there, Crystal, go to um, the foundation. How about the license plates? You know, we don't talk about license plates anymore. We really don't. You know, our board member, Billy Carnegie, um, set up the Big Rock license plate a few years ago, and and that is a constant for us. So you'll see them around town. You see them in the state, all over the state. Um, and that's something that, that we don't talk about very yeah. much. But that money also goes to the foundation. Um, if you go to the license bureau and get renew your tags and decide you want to do a big rock license plate um all that money you can rest assured goes into the foundation and and that money only goes to charities and worthy organizations correct and there there are lots of big rock license plates in town i yes. you know i'm I've grown accustomed to spotting them, and you, you kind of I kind of know who's got what number a little bit, <laughs> but every once in a while you see these high numbers and other uh, letters on them and and this week they are all over town so those of you that are here uh, with us right now or watching online if you uh, feel motivated to um, remember your trip to Moorhead City and want to do something great for uh, the Big Rock Tournament and its charitable um, uh, work buy a license plate from the state of North Carolina it wor works great now Crystal I know you've been in your new job now, I guess almost a year or so, nine months or so, um, you know, really trying to develop the foundation. And uh, we've got some special things coming up here. I think we're going to show them certainly online with audio, and you're going to see it here as well. Tell us what we're getting ready to see here. Um, Casey and you and um, Randy benefited with us, uh, got together with us and put together a video just to help people understand where the tournament came from, what it's all about. You know, our mission is to give back to charity. That is our sole purpose. Um, a lot gets advertised about the purse, um, but certainly it, it is the, the charities and the worthy organizations in our county and the state that, that we want to support and be part of. So we're just excited that we're, that's happening and yeah, so we've got a, we, we've got about a five minute video. Mm -hmm. I think we, we, we tried to make it what two and a half minutes, but Just the, too much to the tell. story is so great, and the impact that the tournament has uh, is so broad. 
that this is about a five minute video. So I'm, I don't know who I'm supposed to point to to say, cue the video, <laughs> but it's time to watch the video. Yeah, yeah. Okay, stay with us. There is this giant excitement level for this tournament as we build up to it. Every boat yard's full of boats getting ready. All the tackle shops have tackle in there getting ready, getting prepared. I don't know of any captain that doesn't want to fish this, no matter if they're in Moorhead City or Isla Morata. We all want to be part of it. The Big Rock is the greatest blue marlin tournament in the world, period. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Bring him up, bring him up. Really, really, if he doubles on that line, you lose it. Came up on the left short, pounded the One million six hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. This is your new leader. Moorhead City was coming out of World War II. The Moorhead City waterfront was boat building, commercial fish houses. It was a working commercial waterfront. There weren't that many sport fishing boats, certainly not what we know them as today. Up until 1957, a blue marlin had never been landed off of the coast of Moorhead City. And a group of the local businessmen got together and said, well, let's put some money together and get people encouraged to go out there and fish for it and participate. And that's really the basis of where the tournament started from. In September 14th, 1957, Jimmy Croy leaves the dock on the Mary Z with Captain Bill Olson from the Moorhead City Yacht Basin. The sea trial for that boat, and they go out and catch a blue marlin. I wish I could have been there for the excitement. That changed fishing in Moorhead City forever. We started out this small little tournament trying to put Moorhead City on the map with sport fishing. Promote sport fishing in Carter County, promote sport fishing in North Carolina, and give money away to charities. And so that was our very simple mission from day one. The foundation is the charitable arm of the tournament, and the charitable arm is really why Big Rock exists, to fund our core charities. They depended on those funds every year for programs. If for whatever reason the Big Rock Tournament could not go on as planned, the foundation exists to make sure that those charitable donations will be made on an annual basis. We have a core group of charities that we give to every year a certain amount of money, but then we look for bigger projects and higher impact projects, something that the Big Rock could really make a difference in whether that project happens or not. We've been able to do so much more than just what we thought the tournament could in the beginning. This past year, we were able to give $1 million away in a single tournament year. The Big Rock Tournament is pleased to donate $1 million. And I think it speaks to the growth of the tournament, the growth of the industry, the growth of Moorhead City, the cultural phenomenon that the Big Rock has become. The Big Rock is the Super Bowl of fishing. And when you think about the Super Bowl, you think about all the impact it has. How does it affect the community? How does it affect the state? How does it affect everybody that's around it or touches it? I was in a meeting recently with one of our charities. The president of that organization looked at me and said, Tommy, our organizations have a lot in common. We're both in the hope business. The guy's fishing. I hope I catch that big one. I hope I win that big money. But for those of us, maybe we're not participants, but we love the tournament. We love the charitable work that it does. The money that we give is helping achieve a hope. It makes that dream become a reality. When you really dig down to what the Big Rock is, the Big Rock is about changing lives. It's life-changing if you win, it's life-changing to the people to see a blue morning for the first time, and it's life-changing to the charities that benefit. You're all part of that story. And we would like to expand that growth into the community, into different people that want to be a part of the tournament, that maybe can't come and fish the tournament, but want to be a part of what the Big Rock is all about. It's a donation from you. It's a t-shirt bought in our retail store. It's a sponsor supported across all three tournaments, Big Rock, Big Rock Kids, and KWLA. It's very important for all the support that we can garner to continue the legacy of Big Rock.
Watching it here or uh, online, it certainly is something that we're very proud of. Um, not only the uh, the quality of the video, but more importantly, the message behind it. Um, you know, Crystal, let's let's talk about a couple other things while we wrap this up. Um, some of the things we've done in town, you know, just real quickly. You know, Big Rock Stadium comes to mind. That was the first really big thing, and and it's. Uh, you, you know, what a, what a great facility that is in conjunction with the town of Moorhead City. Um, the Moorhead City Marlins play there. You know, that's a no-brainer, isn't it? Um, you know, youth baseball from all over. Tournaments come to town. The economic impact that that has on the town. Yeah, we did um, that in 2008. And that was a while ago. Yes. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, we followed that up with uh, the Salvation Army building, mm -hmm. the Crystal Coast Hospice House. Um, you know, some of those are big ticket items. But I also think about, you know, and jump in here too, you know, the Broad Street Clinic, um, you know, helping uh, indigent care for, um, you, you know, for those that are less fortunate. You know, I volunteered um, at the Broad St Street Clinic, so I really did find out, you know, that yeah. that's a worthwhile yeah. and a necessary Yeah, you know, Martha's that, Mission. Um, Hope Mission. Hope Mission. The Boy Scouts. Um, the Boy Scouts. You know, just those, those good, solid organizations that it takes to, to – you know, to help those that are less fortunate, but but also give some vibrancy to your county, you, you know, to kind of even things out a little bit. Um, speaking about Hope Mission, I heard um, Pastor Gene speak recently. It's no wonder that they're as successful as they are. He's a dynamic guy. I, I had never heard him speak before, and uh, what a dynamic guy he is and yes. leads Hope Mission uh, so well. Let's talk about how you can give to the foundation. You know, we've talked about buying stuff at the store. We've talked about license plates um lots of winners have made contributions in the past they really have you know uh, um my first tournament when waste not won the tournament um lonnie pool at the awards banquet turned around and gave fourteen thousand dollars back to big rock you know that was a big deal 25 years yeah. ago yeah. um we certainly have had random donations from participants that have been on the crystal coast enjoyed being here just had the best time and saw, you know, the projects that we had. So, you know, that's another way. And so just, just an endowments. If you if you right. have an endowment set up and you'd like for it to go to Carter County or the Crystal Coast, um, Big Rock is a wonderful facility for that. It, you can be rest assured that your funds are vetted and that it's followed and it goes to the right place. Correct. It does. I know... Um you know, a couple things that happen every year. The, there's uh, Steve. We need to get Steve Goyon over here at some point in time. We've got this beautiful artwork. Uh, Steve has been our artist for the last several years. You see it on some of the T-shirts around. Uh, beautiful um, original artwork that's auctioned off at some point in time of the tournament. The, the winners usually buy it, but sometimes somebody wants it really bad, and, and that money goes to the foundation. Mm -hmm. Um, to, you know, to help further all of our charitable work here in town. Um, we've had, uh, as you mentioned, the Poole family gave, uh, made a contribution. We've had other uh, participants that, uh, I don't even know that all of them were winners, but they have just, they, they've enjoyed their experience here. Uh, we heard it a lot in the uh, 25th annual KWLA tournament this weekend. Um, how much some of the crews enjoy coming to Moorhead. They enjoy the the environment in Moorhead. They they love the fact that the town of Moorhead and the townspeople roll out the red carpet for them. And they and look, they've got a little money to to spend and donate. Why not? Well, and the fact you know that they know that we are doing so much for this community, and so they want to help. You know, yeah. they love it and they love being here and they want to give back as well. So. Yep. Well, Crystal, best of luck to you in your new job. <laughs> Thank you. We kind of miss you, but we kind of don't. <laughs> you know, Madison has done a great job, and you obviously uh, had a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You had a lot of influence on her. <laughs> you trained her You trained her very well. She's Carly, doing Carly Sharp and all of the, all of the staff that yes. Crystal left us with are just doing a phenomenal job, and a lot of that certainly is thanks to Crystal. But we're, uh, we're delighted you're still in our organization, and we wish you the best. And all of us, Thank of you. course, have pledged to do whatever we can to help. So, so those of you who are here, 
um, you can help too if you're on the Moorhead City waterfront. Stop by the Big Rock store over there. Buy a t-shirt, buy a hat, buy one of those Marlin Magnet styrofoam cups that I gave to Henry Hinton this morning. Take home a souvenir um, of your visit here to the Big Rock Tournament in Moorhead City and help, uh, help our local charities at the same time. Those of you who have a North Carolina license plate, shame on you if you don't have a Big Rock plate, <laughs> right? Crystal, thank you again. We wish thank you the you. best. Thank you. Thank you very right. much. All right. Well, stay here with us here um, on Big Rock TV. I know we've got the silver lining has decked a blue marlin. Um, we've been so busy up here. I don't know what time they're going to be here, but we'll find out uh, that in just a few minutes. It'll be up on the website, and we'll let you everybody know here uh, what's going on. So stay with us. It's an absolutely perfect day here on the beautiful Moorhead City waterfront. Lots of things to do. Um, you can go over and see some of our sponsors right in front of the Big Rock store. There's some boats over there. Uh, uh, Albemarle Boat is here. Uh, Parker uh, GMC has got a truck over here. Uh, lots of things to do, lots of things to see. So we'll be with you here throughout the day. The scales will be open until the last blue marlin is weighed. Uh, 7 o'clock on all the game fish. So stay with us right here on all of our social media platforms on Big Rock TV. And uh, those of you who are here in Moorhead, stick around. we got lots more to see today, I am quite sure.
All right, everybody, welcome back here. Uh, Tommy Bennett with you. I'm pleased to be joined now by Carly Sharp, who is the director of the KWLA tournament and the upcoming Big Rock Kids tournament. And uh, we're going to give you just a quick update on what's happening. A, a lot has happened since we uh, broke about an hour ago, Carly. Uh, obviously, we saw uh, the Mercenaria weigh in the 572.6 pound Blue Marlin, taking the overall lead, of course, but winning right there on the spot, the level five fabulous fisherman's uh, club level, uh, $777,000 uh, right there. But we've got three more fish boated. Carly, tell us about that real yeah, quick. Yeah, absolutely. So right now we're looking at 5 o'clock for two boats arriving. High yield is on their way to the scales along with Silva Lining. Silva Lining is entered in level one only, so their payout looking, is looking at about $25,000. High yield is all in in the tournament, so they could steal first place and take home. Let's see here over a million dollars by far and if they beat mercenaria's first place fish they're looking at almost a three million dollar payday yeah, so a lot of action a lot of suspense here waiting to see who's going to walk away a three dollar yeah, millionaire so, so let's just let's just make sure we got that we're expecting two boats here i know the folks particularly that are here that can hear us on the waterfront um at big rock landing we've got two boats going to be here right around five o'clock um, and obviously you saw a little earlier, um, we're going to stay with the, the boats that have weighed in a Blue Marlin. They, they obviously want to take a lot of pictures. Their family wants to get in the pictures. Uh, they need to talk to the press over there, so we'll take the time to do that. Um, get one in, then the next boat will be here. They should be here about the same time. Uh, you know, maybe interspersed in that, we'll have some game fish action. There is a ton of money available in the game fish action. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, so there'll be a lot of excitement there. The dolphin winner take all money. Heaviest dolphin will get over $527,000. So we'll see if we have a big dolphin come to yeah, the scales so, today. So there could be, you know, could be some more excitement here uh, this afternoon along those lines. The other story, uh, well, let's finish up this. The hook, um, the what, wall what we hanger. Got we got the bad habit. They're going to be here around 730 or so, it sounds that's like. That's the plan. Right? That's okay. the plan. And the redemption is still hooked up. They've been hooked up since 2.09 p.m. And wall hanger, they've been hooked up finding a fish since 10 o'clock this morning. So y'all yeah. just have to stay tuned to see what happens with that. Finding a fish for that long, it's yep. got to be a big one. Yeah, the most important thing, uh, again, for those that are here, obviously we'll stay with you. Uh, the scales will be open until the last blue marlin is weighed tonight. That means we get to stay here, brah. And uh, game fish scales will close at 7. Uh, the other big story today is the release division. Now, Carly, without getting too detailed, we've got two release divisions this year. Um, Tell us about those two divisions. Yeah, absolutely. So as some of you guys might be familiar with, a new technology allows boats to track fish a little bit easier. Um, it's called omnidirectional sonar. So that was created this in the last year and installed in a lot of boats. So we have two different divisions this year, one that permits that technology and one that does not. So it's kind of split 50-50 between the participants with who has a sonar and who doesn't and who's entered in what level. But in leading in the sonar division, we had the Wave Paper, a brand new Bayless boat that's absolutely beautiful. They've released four Blue Marlin today, earning them, if everything goes correctly with their videos $37,000 so yep. big payday for them yep and the real current in the non sonar division um, what did they catch what did they caught today I can tell you uh, at least Checking one with the big <laughs> that's right that that app um, yeah for those of you that are here if you really want to know the scoop on what's going on download the big rock app onto your telephone uh, there is tons of information there uh, you, you'll know obviously more about it than we do yep so we've got real current with one blue marlin so they're in the lead and that non-sonar daily release division with forty two thousand eight hundred and fifty four dollars yeah they're going to win today absolutely you know, you know another good day's work almost forty three thousand bucks um and then uh, in the running for the weekly prize as well so they could walk out of here with uh you know what one hundred and seventy thousand bucks or so very nice great all right day. Well, Carly, thanks for the update. Uh, that lets everybody here know what to expect. It is a little after four, so uh, we've got a few minutes. I know um, 
Henry, why don't you come over here and take Carly's spot for just a second? I could never take Carly's spot. <laughs> well, you can keep her seat warm at least for a second. So this is a, this is our great friend Henry Hinton, and I'm I'm quite certain Henry is a am I safe to say a, a member of the Radio Broadcasting Hall of Fame in the state of North Carolina? Is I that don't right? Know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here. I'm over here slumming. Curtis, Curtis is in the World Golf Hall of Fame. Henry's in the <laughs> Broadcasting Hall of Fame, and Tommy's here with him. How about that? Um, you're, Henry, you're, we're, we're glad to in, have you. You're in the all-around good dude yeah, Hall of Fame. Yeah, I hear you. We're, Henry, we're glad to have you. And I know it's great to be um, here. We're, Henry's job is to go out and talk to all the folks that are here. So uh, Henry's got a great personality, great storyteller. Um, you know. Bon vivant guy. So he's going to entertain you a little bit. He can sing. Oh, yeah. He'll sing happy birthday to you if you pay him. Uh, we've got probably got some giveaways at some point in time. So uh, so be on the lookout Looking for Henry. Henry, you were here this morning. Tell us about what you were doing here this morning. Uh, we did our radio show on uh, our radio uh, station uh, down here, 96.3 and 103.7. We have 200,000-watt FMs. We do a show on every morning from Monday to Friday. Reaches everything from uh, the Virginia line to Wilmington. And so, you know, it's just fun to be part of it. We had some great folks on this morning. Got to interview my daughter-in-law who won the uh, the <laughs> Kelly Wagner Ladies Anglers Tournament. Won $109,000. And I, I, was, I was asking you if she had to take a, a lie detector test because of some things I want to ask her. Yeah, um, we won't go there. <laughs> we, we, won't, we won't go there. Uh, Tree, but, you want to take that test too? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't we'll be, either. We'll be back on either. the air down here on yeah. Wednesday morning down at Portside Marina. If people want to come down and see us, we'll be live yeah. down there. So Henry, Henry is uh, is just a uh, great supporter of the Big Rock Tournament, uh, everything that we do, and he's very generous with his time on the air and with his personal time, and we're, we're very delighted hey, to have it's him. my pleasure. Adds a, adds a great dimension to our coverage here Um you know, in dealing with the crowd and everything, it's just great to have you here, Henry. We, we appreciate it. Appreciate so, the invitation to right. come back this All year. Right. All right. Well, stay with us here. Uh, we're expecting two boats, as we said, around the 5 o'clock hour. And I'm certain that uh, by the time 5 o'clock rolls around, there will be a lot more people here, hopefully a very enthusiastic crowd, uh, to welcome the silver lining and the uh, high yield here to Big Rock Landing. So, um Let's take a break here for just a second, Carly, and uh, you know, leave leave our viewers with this great shot of the uh, of the way station here at Big Rock Landing, and uh, we'll be back maybe with the researcher from NC State here in just a second. Sounds okay? like a plan. All right, great. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
All right, check, check. All right, back again here with our dockside set. Uh, Big Rock TV, for those of you um, uh, gathered here around, we've had a lot of questions about what happens to the blue marlin, and uh, we'll see uh, then what happens to some of the game fish. I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Paul Rudershausen from NC State University. Uh, Paul is a senior research scientist here at CMAST. Um, and he, we're going to talk to him. He's going to tell us a little bit about what happens. Paul, let's talk about the scientific community in Carter County, first of all. I mean, NC State, CMAST, UNC, Duke. I mean, give us the whole list. I mean, there, this is a... There's a huge concentration of marine scientists here. I think second only to Woods Hole, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? That probably is about right, Tommy. We have, um, to, to give you the full list, we've got NC State University um, represented here in Moorhead City, University of North Carolina, Duke University, National Marine Fisheries Service, the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries. So we have a whole bunch of representation here. And Noah, then, Noah's in Beaufort, I think. Noah's yeah. in Beaufort, right on Pyra's Island. And then East Carolina University has a lot of sampling missions here right in the coast of North Carolina. So we have an amazing, like you alluded to, Tommy, we have an amazing concentration of world-class marine biologists right here in Moorhead City and Beaufort. It's very impressive, the, the lineup that we have here. So it kind of leads us into, you know, interactions with blue marlins don't happen very much. And I know, uh, you, you know, the, uh, the truck came in, picked up a blue marlin yesterday. Tell us about that. Yeah, so part of the, the challenge, as Tommy alluded to, in sampling these highly migratory species is for biologists to intercept them in a repeatable and predictable fashion. If we were to come to the dock here in December when the marlins aren't around, we're not going to be able to sample anything. So the Big Rock, for a long time now, has provided a really, really valuable venue for marine biologists to sample the highly migratory species that come into the tournament. And, of course, the highly migratory species that we're talking about are the blue marlins that you just saw um, the dolphinfish or mahi mahi, if you're in um, the Hawaiian tropical area, yellowfin tuna and wahoo. So this provides a really good, stable, long-term platform that we can analyze some long-term interdecadal, interdecadal trends in the um, the biological patterns of some of these critters that are coming into the tournament. Yeah, I know. You know, like tissue sampling. You're using those big words. I'm just you know lo local guy from Moorhead. Um, some of the tissue, though, is shipped literally around the world, is it not? It is. It is. Some of it shipped around the world. But I want to remind you, Tommy, that um, the Big Rock generously funded um, yours truly, along with a couple other local researchers, um, last year to keep some of that tissue right here in North Carolina. In fact, NC State University, in collaboration with a couple other institutions, is currently looking at the interdecadal trends in the concentration of um, inorganic mercury and also methyl mercury in the tissues of blue marlins. And we have the longest standing data set on mercury concentrations in blue marlins in the world. Again, no small yeah. thanks to yeah. the Big Rock um, tournament. So this has been a very valuable sampling venue to um, understand those trends. Yeah, so our, our reach is, is broad um, from the tournament standpoint here locally, whether it be charitable organizations or research organizations here, something obviously we're very proud of. Um, one, of the, one of the highlights, I think, of the week sometimes is we'll get the guys on the camera to come over here and look at the stomach contents of some of the game fish. Um, tell, tell us how that works. And, and again, let me, I'll answer my own question for just a second. When, when you see some of the game fish come in here, they'll, they'll leave the scales and go over, excuse me, Paul, to a little of the tent, you know, far to my left, to your right, where Paul and his team of scientists are. What, what happens then? Yeah, so we're trying to better understand the long-term dietary trends, the long-term food habits, if you will, of these four um, different species that come into the scales, Tommy. And we published a paper at NC State University in 2010 that basically found that um, the there's been long-term stability of these dialects for the four, each of the four highly migratory species that come into the tournament. Blue marlins, you might be most interested in them because that's the, the fish you just saw coming into the scales here this afternoon. You're going to see a couple more of those shortly. 
they rely very heavily on um, the bullet mackerels or fricket mackerels. And we're finding some other really interesting trends in, in some of the other critters. Dolphin fish are much more opportunistic eaters out in the Gulf Stream waters. Wahoo also like bullet and fricket mackerels. And yellowfin tuna are somewhere in between. They have a fairly specialized diet, but they also consume other prey such as um, squids and flying fishes. Yeah, now... Um and I'm sure we'll we'll go over there sometime today. It's something that we like to do uh, to show. Um, dolphins will literally eat anything, won't they? Yeah, and one of the things, that's a really good point, Tommy. One of the things we're trying to understand with this long-term data set we're collecting at the Big Rock Tournament for dolphin fish or mahi-mahi, if you're in Latin American, um, you'll probably hear that called that same species called a dorado, is the rate of cannibalism and how cannibalism at the population level might be affecting dolphin fish abundances in the North Atlantic Ocean. So can, um, cannibalized dolphin fish are, are actually pretty common in the stomachs of the dolphin fish that come in here to the tournament. You know, lastly, I know w one of the more interesting things we saw last year i think were maybe some juvenile sailfish or at least juvenile billfish you know little little sailfish about you know two inches long um you yeah. know just fascinating uh, what's over there it's unbelievable what dolphin fish were eat. i i often call dolphin fish the swimming trash can of the ocean <laughs> i found in dolphin fish over the 20 years of being down here at the big rock tournament and sampling their their tummy contents i found um like tommy said small istiaford or small billfishes I found sail, um, small sailfishes. I found flying fishes. I found a peach pit. I found chicken bones. I found um, mangrove seed pods, and I've also also found small leatherback sea turtles. Oh, so wow. just a that? really wide yeah. variety uh, of um, different species in uh, the dolphin fish diet. Yeah. Well, Paul, thank you. We we can't have a big rock tournament without you and and all of your um, all of your contemporaries at NC State University. We're we're glad that that we can support you. And we thank you for being here uh, on an annual basis and, again, being very generous with your time today. And we'll, we'll come see you over there uh, maybe sometime today, okay? Yeah, and back at you, Tommy. Um, the, uh, the Big Rock has been extremely generous in supporting the research efforts of NC State University for this now, the 20th of year sampling down here. So we appreciate your support as well. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Paul. All right, we're, uh, we're waiting for the 5 o'clock hour. We've got 35 or so more minutes. Uh, anticipating the silver linings arrival and the arrival of the high yield. So uh, lots, of, lots of things to look forward to here. Uh, as a reminder, fishing ended at 3 o'clock. You know, it generally takes a couple hours for boats to get back. Uh, maybe some of, the, some of the outboard powered boats might come along about 4.30 or so. It takes them about an hour and a half uh, maybe to get in. And uh, I expect we'll see some game fish action here. Uh, soon interspersed with the weigh-ins of our blue marlins on the high yield and the silver lining. So that's it for the moment. Uh, 4.30 or so here on at Big Rock Landing. Stay with us for those of you uh, watching online. If you're here on the Moorhead City waterfront, enjoy, again, a beautiful afternoon. Uh, go hit the Big Rock shop, some of our sponsors, free product over there in the street in front of the store. Uh, see some boats. Uh, some of the product from uh, our sponsors over at uh, at Parker, Buick, and GMC. And adjust you, enjoy yourself. Lots to do here. And, of course, we'll stay with you uh, through the very end of things tonight at whatever time that may be. Back with you soon.
whatever you want to call it, great table fare. This is an 11.7 pound dolphin. We'll get our angler and boat here in just a second. You gotta love these boat names. This is on the Skirt Puller. Gotta love them. Chase Taylor, our angler. There you go. Wave to the boys. Captain Kyle Leggett making an appearance here at Big Rock Landing. Hey, he can go home and tell all of his buddies that he's in the lead. I would. One way or the other, we say it all the time, it's uh, what a great experience to weigh in a fish here at Big Rock Landing. Come in, have that picture taken. That'll be on his wall tomorrow. You can just about, you can just about bet on that. And you see, uh, you see this beautiful sailfish boat sitting here uh, right offshore of the way station. Lots of these big center consoles around now. And uh, there's about 30, 30 plus of them fishing in this year's tournament. A uh, great way for these guys to enter, enter the tournament, have a great Big Rock tournament experience, uh, catch some fish, and make an appearance here at Big Rock Landing.
You ready to see the big fish? Um, we've got two fish on the way, actually three fish on the way. Two going to be here about 5 o'clock, Tommy, and one at about 7.30 tonight. Who's hanging for all of them? We've already got one in today that's won 775000 Steve, get over here. This is Steve, pronounce the last name. Goyon. Goyon. Steve is the official Big Rock artist, and he has uh, got some beautiful art that he's done. He's done the logo for this year's tournament. And you, you got a picture of it we can show? Yeah, it's a small one. Oh, here's, okay. It, it's, show it to the camera there. There you go. This is... Uh, an original illustration which was auctioned off last year which I believe they uh, received twenty five thousand dollars for the original and all that money goes to the Big Rock Charities and uh, this year we've uh, it's on the back of all your t-shirts this year and uh, we have a collection of limited edition prints uh, this is a mini print eight and a half by eleven which we're gonna give away All right, you got a shot of my shirt all right good so this is uh, this is a print number eight out of fifty this is number eight out of 50. Eight out of 50. All right, so here is my question. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna try to stand back here and see if I can see the whole crowd. How many of these we got to give away? Just one right now. Just one, there's just one of these. All right, who was here last year? All right, everybody hands down. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to ask a question, and if you're first raising your hand, I'm going to come to you, and if you get it right, you're going to get the print. If you get it wrong, you owe me $50. <laughs> That's the way this is going to go, right? What about me? Yeah. What about me? <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> Steve, you get the pleasure of having your art out there. All right, you ready? I'm looking now. Don't raise your hand unless you know. No, you're already disqualified because you raised your hand. Last year, we had a fish caught. I think the last night of the tournament on Friday night it was 866, what? It was, I think it was 866 pounds, as I recall. You ready? What was the name of the boat? Right there, right there. Don't scream it out. All right, come on. Uh, uh, you can't ask your husband. Have you, first of all, do you have... Who's, is he somebody else's husband? Not your husband. All right, he, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you have $50? I don't. Well, then you're, I'm not asking because you, you're going to owe me $50. What is the name of the boat that won last year? Hooked up. Ah. You want to pay by check or money order? 656. It was 650. I thought it was bigger than that. Gosh, it looked bigger than that. All right, who's next? Who's next? All right, who looked at the app already to see the name? All right, I'm going to this guy right here. I don't know who was second, but you're going to get a shot at it. Whoa, what's your name? Sean. John what? Sean. Oh, Sean. Sean what? Widespread. Sean Widespread is your name? No. What's your name? Sean. What's your, What's your last name? Nichols. All right, where are you from? <laughs> These are, you know the name of the boat? You don't know which town you're from? Tell them, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, all right. Who told you the name of the boat? <laughs> Do you think it's fair that you were asking? I, mean, I didn't say anything about phoning a friend. Fair. What did you say the name of the boat was? Widespread. Widespread. Bingo, that is it. Widespread was the name. You get this. Now, here's the thing. This is Steve. This, this is the artist right here. And this is a big deal that you get this right here. This is a print. There's only 50 of these, and you got number eight. And, and Mr. Goyne is the, guy who, uh, is the guy who painted this. So what do you say to him? Thank you. You got it, buddy. You got it. All right, congratulations. Widespread was the, the name of it. All right. We got Henry, where are all these people from? I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? Let's see. Where are you from? Let's find out. Who's from the farthest away? Louisiana. Louisiana. Where in Louisiana? New Iberia. New Iberia. Is that in the U.S.? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Good. Where, where are you from? 
Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, got a Raleigh. Where are you from? Burlington. Burlington. We're honeymooning. Burlington. You're honeymooning? <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Yes. Yep. How many years? Uh, about How many days. years are you honeymooning? One day. One day. You, you got married yesterday? Yeah. Did, where, did you get married in Burlington? Yep. No, it's Daly, North Carolina. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. What's your name? Kurt. Cronbergs. Sabrina. Kurt and Sabrina, everybody, let's uh, let's wish them a happy anniversary on three. You ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. All right, good. Where are you from? Newport. Newport. Where is it? Newport, Rhode Island? Newport. <laughs> I don't know where you're from. All right, where are you from? Connecticut. Connecticut. It's a long way away. It's a long way away. So what are you doing down here? Uh, fish rock. This uh, festival. We- Did you, you came for the big rock? Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> Is this your first time? Yes, it is. First time in Moorhead City? No, not the first time in Moorhead City, but the first time for the, the Big Rock. All right. Well, it's great to see you down for the whole week. Yes. Now, do you have somebody fishing in the tournament, or are you just here for the fun? Reeling, feeling. Reeling, feeling. All right. Well, good luck to the reeling, feeling. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to talk? Get up here. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What country is that in? <laughs> What's your name? Isaiah. Are you guys down on vacation? Yes. Yes. All right. And uh, do you know someone fishing in the tournament or you just came down for fun? We just came down for fun. Grandparents live in Raleigh. Grandparents live in Raleigh. All right. Well, welcome to God's country. You ever been south of the Mason-Dixon line before? No. <laughs> you know you live up there with them Yankees. You know anything about the Civil War? No. You're better off not to know. <laughs> Whoa! Feedback. All right, good. I see Curtis Strange has arrived. Does anybody know Curtis Strange? Anybody ever heard of Curtis Strange? He is here. All right, and Henry, we got another dolphin here. Here, I've been, I've been here. <laughs> Nineteen point two pound dolphin here. There is uh, there's a lot of money at stake in the dolphin category. Daily prizes of two thousand dollars for first place, a thousand dollars for second. Of course, the uh, very big winner take all dolphin prize is well over a half million dollars, I believe, this year. We also will recognize some junior anglers in this division on Sunday at our awards banquet right here on the uh, Moorhead City waterfront. And I expect this, uh, this kind of activity will continue here for a little while as uh, day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament really starts to get underway and heat up here at Big Rock Landing. So here we go, 19.2 pounds on the business boat. I like it. Ralph Lopez, our angler here. Very nice. 19.2 pound dolphin, that's your new leader, one way or the other. Who knows what we're gonna see here today. Just checking that winner-take-all largest dolphin prize. Catch this now, $527,000 somebody could win for the largest dolphin. That's kind of why we're talking about prize money here. Another very interesting aspect of the tournament. The Gregory Pool Gregory Pool first release of the day. $5,000 paid every day of the tournament. The Rochambeau this morning, very early in the morning, uh, right after nine o'clock, lines in, called in and released a, a billfish. Captain Willie Zimmerman's gonna walk out of here with $5,000. 
for just being the first one today. Here's a 5.3 pound dolphin on the make it happen. Jason Edwards, our angler, got his fan club right over there. Let me say that again. On the make it happen, who, who's our fan club over there? Over there, okay. All right. Resplendent in their team attire. They get to make an appearance here at Big Rock Landing. And we thank them for participating this year. Maybe we'll see you back again. Again, you can see uh, Randy and George, our way station crew, just like they measure the uh, blue marlins. They measure all the game fish as well. Yeah, now we're talking. And we're talking some more right behind him here. Another nice dolphin. This is an 18.4 pound dolphin. Not quite gonna bump that first place one so far. All right, here you go, 18.4 pound dolphin on the keeping it real. John Sage, our angler. Captain Keith Harrison. There you go. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Yes, sir. Lots of those 18 to 20 pounders here today. The dolphin fishing has been excellent. In fact, here recently, we've seen 60 and 70 pound dolphins weighed in prior to the tournament. There's another nice one. You know, these guys are all vying for a daily prize. Maybe a junior angler prize, who knows? But to get to come here to Big Rock Landing, what a great experience that is. And this is a 19 pound dolphin caught on the top level Andrew Blanc, our angler. Congratulations, Andrew. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Smiles all around. One way or the other. That's it. Thank you, sir. Well done. So as you heard here, you know, Randy and George are hard at it, but our boys over there in the um, NC State Research Tent are hard at it, too. Those of you that are down here, you want to see something interesting, stroll over there and watch those guys for a second. But be warned, do it uh, well before you eat dinner, not right after you do, for sure. All right, I think this is your new leader here. This is a 20.8 pound dolphin. There you go.
All right, 20.8 pound dolphin. This is your new leader, I believe, on the Marsh Madness. Andy Felton, our angler. Shane Bradford, our captain. This is a local boat, ties up over in Atlantic Beach. Glad to have them participating this year. You know, in contention for that daily prize today. You know, with the cost of fuel, even if you want a thousand bucks, you'd be a little better off, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Curtis? I'm sorry, I'm not listening. I know. It's all right. <laughs> Same thing he does on TV. Well, Randy, we're getting a little bigger. Uh, <laughs> well, we're creeping up 21 pounds right on the money, 21.0 pounds. Are they keeping the app up to date here as quick as they're coming in? All right, 21 pound dolphin. Y'all keep me straight, but I think this is the biggest one so far. Sea phase here. Our boat, Aaron Fly, our angler, Shane Whaley, our captain. Yes, sir, congratulations. Again, you know, there, there's, uh, there's an awful lot of money at stake in the, in the game fish division. You know, picking up a little change helps uh, defray some of that fuel cost maybe. But one way or the other, you get to make an appearance here at Big Rock Landing. A lot of history been made right here, folks. And, you know, being able to visit Big Rock Landing with a fish in the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament is something that a lot of people only dream about. There's the Marsh Madness right out there. Beautiful boat built right here in North Carolina. New acquisition there too, I believe. Been in business here about a month or so. They about got the kinks worked out. So we kind of got our eye on the clock here too. Uh, one thing you need to look at, guys who are over here kind of to the east, you can see down Bulkhead Channel. If you see one of the boats come in with a flag flying, a, a white flag with a blue marlin on it, that is right side up. That's the boat we're looking for. That means they have a fish in the cockpit. You'll see some of the other flags turned upside down. That means they've had a catch and release today. So the blue marlin is a, is a blue fish on a white flag. Duh, the white marlin is going to be a white fish on a blue flag. You'll see those flying upside down. And then you'll see maybe a sailfish uh, turned upside down on a, on a white flag, a blue sailfish upside down. So. Guys that are over there by beside Southern Salt, if you if you see them coming, let us know. I think Curtis is down there on the dock. No, he's moved over here. But we'll be on the lookout for them. They're heading this way. Hadn't seen anybody yet, Curtis says. For those of you over here behind the, the jumbo screen, you can see the brand spanking new Moorhead City police boat generously donated by the Big Rock Tournament was christened on Thursday of last week so it literally is brand new just launched last Thursday 
And we can't say enough good things about the town of Moorhead City for letting us uh, have Big Rock Landing down here, letting all you folks come down and enjoying the Big Rock Tournament with us. Moorhead City is a great host for the tournament, and we're very, very pleased and very proud of our relationship with the town. You also see some of these other large boats kind of hanging around. We've got two chase boats provided by Collins, Inc. Yamaha outboards on them, so we want to thank Les and all of his crowd up there at Collins, Inc. in Smithfield. Is that right, Les? That's right. I say your name right. CollinsBoating.com. Is that that's it? Get you some. Les says get you some. All right, you can see uh, some of the chase boats, these smaller boats. They're going out and meeting the big boats, picking up the game fish, bringing them back to the scales, trying to get them in and out of here so we can also save the way station slip for the Blue Marlins. You want to do your commercial? Oh, no, he just rounded the corner. Okay, all right. Silver lining, right? Okay, so we've had a sighting from the silver, of the silver lining. They've rounded the corner. We'll be here soon. We're going to keep the way station slip clear for them. And we've got a, just a very nice crowd here. We do want to give the silver lining a very enthusiastic welcome to the scales. So we'll get Henry out there with the whoop em up stick or something, you know. We'll do a little, you crowd do a little better job than the uh, folks that were here earlier today. We got to give these guys an appropriate welcome here to Big Rock Landing. All right, Randy says this is 20.2 pounds. I think our leader in this category right now is 21, if I'm not mistaken. They right now all came from the same spot. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like bookends. <laughs> I know one thing. If I was fishing the tournament... And I wasn't much of a blue marlin fisherman. I'd be out there fishing every grass edge there was for the all-in mahi prize. You, you know, we, you know, we talk about it, Curtis. It's you know, twenty-five hundred dollars to enter. What twenty-five hundred dollars for the for the largest dollar? Five thousand dollar entry fee. You know, it's that, yes, a significant sum of money. But you split it by five or six guys, um, chance to win five hundred thousand dollars. That's a pretty good deal. I think we got a new leader here. This is a 21.5 pound dolphin on the big trouble. All right, well, here we go. We were expecting the silver lining, but here comes the high yield. There you go, from Charleston, South Carolina. Keep it going for him. He's going to slide right in here. You can see that. That blue marlin flag flying right side up. That's the sign that we've got one in the boat. Another beautiful boat. So come on, let them hear it here now. There you go. Remember this morning, leading Blue Marlin, 572.6 pounds. Let me take a look here. How many were out here this morning to see that big fish? You're going to see another one right here.
need to have a little rule check here too. All the levels of the tournament. You know, to win the almost $5.9 million purse. How about that? The total purse this year, $5,858,000. The fish here on the high yield, this boat has entered all of the big blue marlin levels. There is a pile of money in it. We saw the... Um, We saw the Mercenaria cash in the $777,000 Level 5 Fabulous Fisherman's Prize. So that's already been won. Can't take that away from them. So we're looking at this fish, if it takes the lead, being well over two and a half million dollars in potential prize money right here on day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. So again, if you were here earlier, you saw uh, Randy and George do a little paperwork here. And the silver lining is right here, this, this yellow boat, right here uh, off the bow of the high yield. You can see their flag flying as well. Again, just a quick rule check. The silver lining is only in level one. So, uh, we'll have to see how all of that shakes out. Ah, and we're hot off the press here. The wall hanger has boated a blue marlin. They have been hooked up since 10 o'clock this morning, I believe. Isn't that right? 10.06 this morning they hooked up. And right here at 5 o'clock, a seven-hour fight there. Wow. It looks similar to the one we weighed earlier. So, Kurt, Curtis, we're going to have a very busy afternoon and evening. <laughs> Thank it's goodness. Fi it's 5 o'clock. You know, what do we got? Wall hanger be here in three hours maybe. That's 8 o'clock. What do we got left? Hooked up here at 730. Uh, anybody else still hooked up? That's what I'm looking at. Can we, can we place an order for dinner? Redemption is still hooked up. Still hooked up. Okay. A lot going on. The day one is always a busy day here, you know, wide open leaderboard. You just don't know what's on the what to expect. So it's always a great day to be here uh, on the first day of the tournament. Curtis, have we checked the weather for, for tomorrow maybe? Do we know what's happening? You know, I think you, you know, I think the there's, the, there's the, rain storms one day but the Wrong forecast phone. a little earlier was maybe for a little weather tomorrow. What you say? Re regardless, there are so many daily prizes. We'll definitely have boats fishing tomorrow. Yep, so Carly's reminding me we had about $3.5 million available in the, in the uh, largest blue marlin category. Of course, $777,000 of that already won. Looks like uh, if the high yield moves into first place here, they're in all levels. They're looking at $2,712,063. Henry, that would even help you, my man. That's a nice looking fish. Yes, I'll just sir. let you know right now. Looks similar to the one we had a little while ago, fat. And that number to beat, y'all, is 
All right, here we go now. You've got to encourage the guys on the rope here, too. Better than that. All right, here we go. It's a big fish. Big tail. There you go. Let's hear it. Y'all, this is the high yield from Charleston, South Carolina. $2,700,000 or so a line. You can do better than that. How about it? Curtis, I think you're right. Very similar. We'll see here. Randy will get it squared away. Not quite as fat as the one this morning, maybe a little longer. I don't know. A friend of mine just said 600. No? Close. Here we go. 572.6 is what we're looking for to beat here. Five thirty six point eight. This is your new second place fish in the sixty fourth annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Carly says four hundred and sixteen thousand two hundred eighty eight dollars right now. Not bad at all. The crew on the Mercenaria just breathed a big sigh of relief. How about that, y'all? This is your new second place Blue Marlin in the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament on the high yield. Beautiful Blue Marlin. That's what the Big Rock Tournament is all about. Big fish. Big money. You got it. We're going to let them take some pictures, get cleaned up a little bit. We'll try to talk with our uh, angler and captain for a moment. Y'all enjoy the festivities here as the High Yield celebrates their second place fish. Second place Blue Marlin in the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. All right, is everybody liking these fish? Is that the biggest fish you've ever seen? Yeah. It is. What's your name? Rhett. W Rhett? Yeah. What's your last name? Rhett Nolan Bryan. What'd he say? Rhett Nolan Bryan. Rhett Nolan Bryan. Where are you from, Rhett? Alabama. Alabama? <laughs> Where is Alabama? <laughs> are you a Crimson Tide fan? Yeah. So if I say something like uh, War Eagle, you won't like it. Mm -hmm. That's an Auburn thing, isn't it? All right. What's your name? Are you the prettiest little thing I've ever seen? Yeah. I thought so. Are you from Alabama also? Yeah. Are you an Alabama Southern Bale? Do you like those fish? And I and guy did caught a big fish. Yeah, he did catch a big fish. And he's going to make a lot of money, too, if, if it holds. Who thinks that fish is going to hold? What do you think? Anybody? Is that one going to hold second place? I hope so. You know these guys? Uh, she does. Oh, you do? You from Charleston? My mom is. Your mom's from Charleston? Are you, uh, you got kinfolk on that boat? Cousins. 
Cousins. All right, well, good luck. Right now it's in second place. That's a big fish. Congratulations, congratulations. All right, let's see who else wants to talk. Anybody else got anything exciting to say? What was that? Go Tigers. I'm not talking to you anymore. You got something to say? Okay. Let's go down here. Say again? I fished with them for the ladies. Uh, you were on the ladies tournament? On high yield, yes. Did you uh, catch a fish? We got a blue. You did? That's great. Did you win any money? I don't know. They don't pay back as far as NASCAR does. So. <laughs> Do you know who won the Kelly Wagner Lady Anglers Tournament this year? I have not gone back to review everything. My daughter-in-law. Yes, I hear you. Yeah. And it was not fixed, I promise you. My daughter-in-law, Meredith. What's your name? Tyson. Cashin? Tyson. Tyson. Where are you from? Greenville. Greenville? That's where I'm from. <laughs> you live in Greenville? I do. Are you my neighbor? No. Yeah. Do you listen to 1037 in the morning? Um, yeah. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Y'all got to work on this kid. He'll probably listen to one of them communist stations or something. Huh? What's that? Can you go back and ask the girl that said she was from Charleston? Can you ask her if she's from the West Virginia, Charleston, or South Carolina? Oh, I thought you wanted me to ask her if, if, if you could, you know, take her out on a date or something. No. Do you, do you have a girlfriend? No. Oh, man. Hey, Henry. Uh, Henry. Yes, sir. We have a little update here. Wall right. hanger just boated their fish. Oh, boy. A minute ago. They've been hooked up since 10.06 this morning. Now, so, Curtis, you're a, you're a fisherman. If somebody's fighting a fish for seven hours, does that generally mean it is a big fish? Or they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I That's think possible. it's probably a pretty good fish, yes. <laughs> so if they're here, if they just boated at 520, um, 7, 8 <laughs> o'clock maybe, 8 o'clock, depends on where they are. But anyway... Back to the 536.8 pound blue marlin oh, yeah, hanging let's, right in front let's of try us. To, let's try to get our angler over here, maybe. Come on over here, Bernard Lenny. Hello. Congratulations. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Thank you, sir. Quite a day you've had. Tell us about it. A good day. We enjoyed it. We just went out and had a good time and caught a fish. There's got to be more to it than that. We want the, we want the details, man. Come on. All these people here, tell them what happened. I grew up here. They'll tell you the details. <laughs> well, you saw it all, didn't you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> good day. We enjoyed it. Thank you. How, how long a fight was this? About 35 to 40 minutes. You, you must have some muscles there. Yeah, it was a good fight. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Tell me about your crew. Obviously did a good job here. Everybody did a great job. Absolutely. How does it feel to weigh in a fish at Big Rock Landing, particularly one that's in second place right now? Oh, man, it's, you know, a dream. Enjoyed. Mm -hmm. All right. How about your captain over here? Is he available for just a second? Captain Paul Wiseman. Thank you, Bernard. Tell him to come over here for just a second. Paul, congratulations. Well, welcome to Big Rock Landing. Tell us about your day a little bit. It was tough early. It was it really tough early. We, we never do good early. I don't know what the deal is. but Was it sea conditions or just no bites? No, I, I just can't do it early. I don't know what it is, but it didn't matter. We just needed one, so that's what we're doing. So. Well, I would say you got the one. Maybe not the one you're really looking for, but you got three days left. Give us an idea. What does, it, what does your schedule look like? You've looked at the weather, perhaps. What does the next uh, five days hold for Team High Yield? I think we're in pretty good shape as far as weather goes. Uh, we're thinking about laying tomorrow uh, that, and then just try to take it from there on out. That's kind of what we're looking at, but we'll kind of make that decision later on this evening and go. But I, I think we'll be all right. Well, go, go celebrate this one. Congratulations. 536.8 pounds. Uh, Blue Marlin are right here on day one. Good enough for second place.
got a chance to three more days do it again. And everybody remember we've got uh, one more fish here on the silver lining. And the high yield will be rolling on here shortly, leaving the second place or current second place fish, 536.8 pounds. A great day's work no matter how you slice it. Bernard Lenny, Captain Paul Wiseman, on the high yield from Charleston, South Carolina. Congratulations, fellas. Great day. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's hear it for Team High Yield there. Great going, fellas. Very nicely done. Folks, just so you'll know, there is there is a little bit of protocol here at the way station. Boats with blue marlins take priority at the scales. We have seen quite a few dolphin here, uh, but with the uh, high yield and the silver lining, now I think they're they're here. So we're going to welcome them here next. I would expect to Big Rock Landing. And here comes the silver lining right now, this beautiful yellow hold Viking right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there they are. So let's get ready to welcome Team Silver Lining here to Big Rock Landing. As we mentioned, this is a local boat, ties up in Atlantic Beach. And if you look right here off of Big Rock Landing, the Pelagic Hunter II, there's your winner from about three years ago. Look at the difference in the size of those boats. That is an outboard powered boat. That's our champion from about three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. A great fish story if there ever was one. All right, well here comes the silver lining. There you go. Let's give them the appropriate welcome here to Big Rock Landing. Just right. Y'all are getting the hang of this. That's great. That's how it's supposed to work.
Curtis, you want to go have a look? Give it. Give us that best guesstimate again. Let's just check that leaderboard now. Mercenaria came in earlier today. 572.6 pound blue marlin to take the lead. And of course, you just saw the high yield roll out of here. 536.8 pounds. Good for second place. Keep picking up my phone. Yeah, that's me. Okay, guys, you know the drill here. Let's help encourage our guys at the way station. There you go. Beautiful blue marlin. Look at the color still on that one. Wow. Come on, boys. There you go. Keep her going. Let's see what we got here. Four oh one. That is a legal blue marlin. There you go. Takes third place. Four oh one. Four oh one point three to be exact. There you go. On the board. All right, just a quick a quick rule check here. The tournament minimum is 400 pounds or 110 inches. So this is a qualifying blue marlin, currently in third place. You never know what might happen over the next five days. Who knows? But again, you can see the excitement here. Weighing in a fish, being on the leaderboard at the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament, particularly for a group of local guys on a local boat. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look. Let's let's hear from some of these boys real quick. Come out, come over here. Share some of this excitement with us. Man, I I, 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 I tell you, buddy McKeel, Timmy Adams, this is for you guys. Tell us that story real quick. No, I can't, bud. Can't. They, they lost a lot this year. Lot, and, uh, this is for them. Yeah, a lot of emotion here. Obviously, we saw it in the ladies tournament. People fishing in honor of and memory of uh, loved ones that have been lost recently. That's the case here. And just a lot of excitement, a lot of emotion here out of Team Silver Lining. Angler Taylor Purdue, Captain Greg McCoy. <laughs> All right, guys, here you go. 401.3 pounds on the silver lining. Angler Taylor Purdue, Captain Greg McCoy. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, I'm John Michael Dickinson from Core Creek, right down uh, outside of Burford. And you? Taylor Purdue from Beaufort, North Carolina. Well, congratulations to both of you. Um, obviously, a, a great day for you guys. A lot of, a lot of emotion and excitement here. Tell somebody, tell us the story here. Well, you go ahead. Put the old man on the reel. I just turned 69 four days ago. <laughs> Happy birthday. Another reason why we're here too. We got a couple guys that one of our good friends passed away about. A, I'm trying. <laughs> I know, I know. Take your time. <laughs> uh, about a month or so ago, and uh, I was at we were after the funeral and stuff. I asked the boys that we've known each other for a while, and hey man, y'all, we got a couple open seats. When y'all want to come fish the big rock with us, and they're like, you know what, we're gonna do it for Timmy, and uh, <laughs> and buddy. That's all we asked, you know. know. It's a one or two, three quarters, and it was still over 400 pounds. <laughs> That's all we asked for. That's right. There you go. So again, you know, we may not win, but that's all. we we have won the day. Absolutely, you have, and we're celebrating with you right here. Well, congratulations. That's the right attitude. Hey, you're in third place. You never can tell what might happen. Congratulations to you guys. Great story. 
Fishing for all the right reasons. There you go. I don't know if they're coming out. Yeah, they are. They're back in the Tommy, there's a boat out there. This says catch 22 on it. Yeah. Catch 23. Folks, the catch 23 is getting ready to make an appearance. Catch Looks like 23. they've had two blue marlin releases today. They must have a game fish. Probably going to weigh in a dolphin, I think, is the word. Curtis says they're sporting a new paint job here. As usual, lots and lots and lots of pictures here. Again, 401.3 pound blue marlin on the silver lining. Our angler, Taylor Perdue, celebrating his 69th birthday four days ago. What a great birthday present for he and uh, Captain Greg McCoy. A lot of excitement here, one one way or the other. Uh, Michael, he's, he's had two releases. Well, they're out there to back up. Well, they might, somebody might just go get them and bring the fish in if it's a dolphin or something like that. So they weren't, if they didn't think they were big enough? Huh? They didn't think they were big enough? Well, a dolphin, you just kind of carry it in like this. It'll be 30 pounds. Oh, you're talking about a little fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks, we say it all, a lot. You talk about the Big Rock family. This is a great example of, of a family and friends fishing together in honor of some recently departed loved ones and friends. What a tribute by the crew of the Silver Lining. Well, there's one of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, oh, yeah. When, when he is, 
When his baby's out, the marina, there's a problem. I, I went by Chris, I went on Chris Coast Rayboat last night, at Chris Coast Rayboat, at Balky Boatford, at um, Dana Cruz Boat, Chris Coast Ray. We went past his boat last night, he waved to us. He waved to you? Yeah. All right, don't let them leave you. Congratulations. Good job. Come on, hop on. They're getting ready to go. Yeah, let's hear it for the crew of the Silver Lining. Very well done. 401 pounds and some change, good enough for third place on day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. All right, well, let's get ready to welcome the Catch-23 here to Big Rock Landing. I would say the Catch-23 is becoming no stranger here to the slip at Big Rock Landing. It's great to have them back with us again this year. Beautiful boat. Curtis says might be sporting a new paint job. And we think that a catch 23 is going to be weighing in a dolphin here. Looking at that leaderboard, 21 pounds is in second place on the C phase. The big trouble is leading that category with 21 and a half pounds. Obviously, the catch 23's had a great day of fishing. Two blue marlin releases. You see the flags up in the outrigger. I believe this is an 80-foot Viking. All right, everybody, let's welcome the Catch-23 back to Big Rock Landing. I think y'all can do better than that, can't you? Just so you'll know, the Catch-23 is entered in the winner-take-all Dolphin Division. $527,000, that prize alone. You might recognize some of this crew. Maybe. And I'm told that our angler was none other than Michael Jordan himself. Yeah. 
Yeah, again, we're looking for 21 is in second place. 21 and a half is in first. All right, here is your new leader, 24.0 pound dolphin. Caught on the catch 23 on day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Okay, I have the angler here from the catch 20 through here what, beside me. And uh, can you tell me your name and what you do for a living? Leroy Smith. I don't do anything for a living. <laughs> so uh, you were the angler of the 24-pound fish, huh? Yeah, it kind of wore me out a little bit, but I got a good crew. So they hooked it, and I just I brought it in. So what the hell are you going to do if you go hook into one of these? You see, I'm the biggest guy, so I got to sit in that seat. So uh, the captain, we got a good captain that can back up on them pretty good, so I don't have to work too hard. Well... Thanks for coming again. We appreciate it. Uh, all these people out here. Uh, Carolina had a good run this year. Yeah, I was very happy about that. And once again, it's always great for me to come home. I mean, I, I look forward to this tournament every year. I mean, rarely do I get the chance to come down to Moorhead City. You know, I grew up in Wilmington, but every chance I get, I look forward to coming back. And the people have been very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well, folks, I don't know if it gets much better than this. What a day. MJ himself with a 24-pound dolphin, our angler today on the catch 23. Going to get his crew up here. Again, taking the lead for the moment in the winner-take-all dolphin category. And, of course, a uh, taking the lead in the daily prize as well. Of course, you heard Michael say he's a North Carolina native. That's right. Grew up in Wilmington. Proud North Carolinian. Of course, we're always excited to have him here, and he's very gracious with his time. And he's kind of figuring this sport fishing business out. I think when he was here the first time, he said, I haven't won yet. But he's well on his way. Beautiful 80-foot Viking. All right, well, let's hear it for Michael Jordan, the crew of the Catch-23. Your new leader in the Dolphin Division of the 64th Annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Hey, and let's hear it for some of our staff and crew here, too. Madison, Tyson, Bailey, all the girls that helped make this tournament what it is. Good job, Catch-23. Yes, sir.
Hey, to everyone that just saw that, can I just say a few things? I've been able to know that guy for a little, for a little while and uh, for many years. And there's no better basketball player that's ever played that game than Michael Jordan, okay? Just so anybody has any kind of, um, but not only that, but a good guy and comes back to this tournament every year for like three or four years now, supports this community, supports the Big Rock, and we can't put a price tag on what he means to us coming to here. And I just hope everybody appreciates that and understands that because we as a board member and Big Rock understand that as well. So hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you catch a big one and come back in the slip later this week. Thank you. Okay, guys, for those of you viewing online, we've got a little treat for you here. We talked about some of the uh, research being done at uh, the CMAST Center here at NC State University. Uh, Dr. Paul is here with us again. And uh, now this is the, these are the stomach contents of the fish that came off the Catch-23, right? All right. Tell us, tell us what you're seeing here. Thanks, Tommy. So, uh, Brendan Rundy here, um, and this stomach contents on that fish that were just weighed by the Catch-23 were definitely the most interesting of the day. Uh, how many, how many uh, puffers did you have in there, Paul? 20. Approximately 20, likely of the same species puffer fish came out of there, which we'll get a good shot of in a second. If Dr. Ruderhausen can uh, just dump those out or hold them up for the camera. And then the other single other item that I'm aware of in the, in the stomach of this animal uh, is right there. Any guesses, Tommy? Uh, juvenile Dorado. Juvenile Dorado, a.k.a. Dolphinfish, a.k.a. Mahi. So um, Michael Jordan's dolphin was a cannibal, you can tell everybody. Uh, that, that, that dolphin ate another dolphin, so that's about a six-inch dolphinfish right there. Uh, so that was a very full stomach. Probably a, a, pound or, a pound and a half or so of that was a 24-pound fish was in yeah. the stomach right yeah. there. Yeah. How, about, how about that? Like uh, almost what, 10% of its body weight just about in its stomach. Fascinating. I know this is not very appetizing at the dinner hour, but it's fascinating nonetheless. Uh, you guys, if you get a chance to come around here, it's, re it's really pretty interesting. Uh, and the guys are really personable over here and will take a little time if, from time to time, uh, you know, if you do, can't get interrupted too much. But thank you, Brendan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tommy. Glad to have you all back as well. All right, Captain Dan Woody, no less, on the psyched out. Another Charleston crowd showing up here. Another dolphin. 24 pounds as a leader. I don't know. What do you think, Dan?
All right, 23.7 pound dolphin. Hey, good enough for second place, Dan. Michael's got you beat only because we just checked the stomach contents of Michael's fish. It was slam full. I mean, slam full of puffer fish. Who knows? Yeah. He could spare a few, right? <laughs> Nonetheless, Captain Dan Woody here on the Psyched Out. Dan, it says Palm Beach. Aren't you boys from Charleston? Thought so. And got a lady angler. How about that? There you go, ladies. Holly McElhaney looks like. Of course, we mentioned Captain Dan Woody. Dan's been a longtime supporter of the Big Rock Tournament. A very nice 23.7 pound dolphin. Good enough for second place. And uh, scoring some points for the ladies. That's always nice. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good, Steve. Thank you. We should check on. Uh, I don't know. Who's I don't know who's coming or what. Well, I haven't seen Carl in a while. Yeah. All right, the, boy. The Dolphins are pouring in here now. Obviously, there's a lot of money at stake. That 24-pound dolphin is the leader right now. There's a wahoo in line over here too. Two wahoos in line, in fact. One nice and another one that's really nice. All right, well, here's your new leader, 25.8 pound dolphin. There you go. Here's your new leading dolphin, 25.8 pounds. Caught on the real country, Captain Gray Hall. Mark Ellington is our angler. Yep, that one takes out the catch 23. You guys Duke fans? All right, way to go, Dan. Good job, psyched out. Yeah, hey, awful lot going on here at Big Rock Landing. And this is going to be our first Wahoo of the day and of the tournament, of course. Again, there's money in the Game Fish prizes, excuse me, in the Game Fish division every day and every week. And for the whole week, excuse me. 24.3 pound Wahoo. Y'all, you see this on the menu in a local restaurant. You ought to order it. Boy, it's great. Another great boat name here on the Dirty Martini. Angler Chance Martini, Captain Jeff Martini. There's your new Wahoo leader. It's going to last about two minutes. Again, Randy and George measuring as they go. All being dutifully recorded. Here comes your new Wahoo leader. One way or the other. Good looking Wahoo. Again, if you see this on a menu here locally, just do yourself a favor and order it. Just a great eating fish. Wonderful table fare.
This is a 36.6 pound Wahoo. Good enough for first place. Caught on the frequent flyer. Our angler is Larry Brown, Captain Mike King here. Looks like another South Carolina based boat, right? There you go. Yeah, folks, here's your new Wahoo leader, 36.6 pounds. Let's show Larry and the crew from the Frequent Flyer a little love for that. The new leader, that's worth it. All right, here's uh, on the Ramblin' Man, 23.4 pound dolphin. Captain Jody Floyd. I don't, I'm not sure who, uh, excuse me, angler Jody Floyd. Captain Nick, we'll just leave it at that. Somebody have to interpret that one for me. Things are really heating up here. We can get Carly to update our leaderboard real quick. All right, well, let's welcome the flying fish here to Big Rock Landing. There you go. See what they got as the action continues here. Let's see, this might do it here. 25.8 pound dolphin on the developing habits, Nelson Ricks. Is that your new leader? Somebody younger than I am can remember all these numbers. Is that your new leader? Carly says that's your new leader in the Dolphin Division. Thank you, Carly. All right, we're going to weigh in another one on the same boat, George says. 23.5 pounds. Another one from the Developing Habits. Trey Ross, our angler here. You guys, you see the, uh, see the headphones and microphone around his neck? That's so he can communicate with the captain directly from the bridge. So this is a, this is a high tech sport if there ever was one. You put a headset on so you can hear the captain talking to you right directly to your ear and you can talk right back to him.
one? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's going to be a nice one. All right, we got another lady angler here, looks like. Got ladies fishing in the big rock, ladies fishing in the lady big rock. This is a 13 pound dolphin. And I do think it looks like we got a couple lady anglers here. Maybe caught on an outboard, it looks like. All right, on the super flat here, Rhonda Gates, our angler, Captain Larry Gates. Yeah, fix your hair. That's the most important thing. That's exactly right. We want that photo to look great. There you go. All right, the gals know how to do it too. No question about it. 13 pound dolphin on the super flat. Rhonda Gates, our angler. Henry, if you want to get... All right, we having a good time at the Big Rock? All right. What was more exciting, seeing Michael Jordan or seeing the big fish? Seeing Michael Jordan, sir. Is Michael Jordan the best basketball player ever? Yes, sir. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. What's your name? My name is Dean. Where are you from? I'm from Carter, Carteret County. Carteret County. Where's that? That is... That's where we are, isn't it? What's your name? Jack. You from Carteret County? No. Where are you from? Florida. Where? Florida. Florida. Wow. You probably see big fish all the time, don't you? Are you, you have family fishing in the Big Rock? No. Yeah. You just here on vacation? Yeah. No. I moved here. I moved. Oh, you moved here, so you're not really from Florida. I see. All right. Everybody enjoying yourself? Where are you guys from? Hey, Henry. Wendell, North Carolina. Where? Wendell, North Carolina. Wendell. Hey, Henry, yes, sir. Henry, yes, sir. Henry, we have a new leader in the dolphin oh, wow. category right here. There you go. 28.2 pound dolphin on the flying fish. You see it right here in the slip. Liz Galaska fishing with husband Tom, maybe. Liz, Very how does it feel? Done. How does it feel to beat Michael Jordan? <laughs> 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 she said it felt pretty good, Henry. <laughs> well, the week's not over. Michael, hey, hey, Liz, pretty competitive. Come on, hang on, Henry. Liz, tell us about your day real quick. Congratulations. Oh, it was snotty going out there, <laughs> but we hunkered down, and uh, the crew did real well, and we're excited for days to come. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a good day. How does it feel to be uh, celebrated at Big Rock Landing? It's pretty damn awesome, I have to say. Pretty damn awesome. Well, congratulations to you. Great day of fishing on the flying fish. In the lead right now in the dolphin category, right here on day one. Man, we got a lot of dolphin coming in right now, Tommy. This has been yeah, something Henry, else. I, I can't keep up with something else. Uh, you know, who's doing what here? 
But a typical day one, Henry, yep. you know, just a lot going on. You know, that, that leaderboard is just wide open on day one. This one looks like 20.6 pound dolphin. Caught all the sensation. Another local charter boat. Ties up right here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Joe DiGiorgio. How about that? I come close. Captain Adam Price. Everybody wants to fish on day one to try to catch that first blue marlin. We had one caught today if you missed it. 572 pounds. Came in about 2 o'clock. Guaranteed winnings of $777,750. And maybe more. It's early in the week. We'll see. All right, well, good job, Flying Fish. There's your dolphin leader getting ready to depart Big Rock Landing here. Lady Angler and everything. Just right. Congratulations to the Flying Fish. Your new leader here in the Dolphin Division, the 64th Annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Who is not from North Carolina who's here today? Anybody who's not from North Carolina? Where are you from? Come here. Kentucky. Where? Owensburg, Kentucky. Owensburg. What are you guys doing down here? Vacationing? Navy. In the Navy. Well, thank you for your service. Let's hear it. What's your name? Garrett Pointer. All right. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you for your service to the country. Great stuff. All right. We got somebody. I bet you're from Florida. Kansas. Where are you from? Kansas. Kansas? Kansas? Yep. Wow. What are you guys doing out in North Carolina? It's great to have you here. Vacationing. Good for you. Great friendly place. What'd you say? I said it's a great friendly place. Moorhead City and all of North Carolina is a great friendly place, isn't it? Thank you for saying that. We agree with you. We love North Carolina. I've been to Kansas, too, and you guys have a lot of cold weather. But you have some good stuff. We have large mouth bass. Right? You have large mouth bass? Yeah, but you don't have these big blue marlins. So you <laughs> Another Kansas person? Where are you from? Oh, you're from Columbus, Kansas. What's your name? Stacy Pointer. Stacy, welcome to North Carolina. It's great to have you in Moorhead City. Great to have you at the Big Rock. Who's having a good time out here? Yeah. Who's coming back tomorrow? I'm going to have radio station giveaways tomorrow, so if you show up, you're guaranteed to have a chance to win one. <laughs> All right, Tommy, what's coming in? we got another one backing in, looks like. Well, Henry, it's just hot and heavy here. Here you go. This is the off-season just offshore of the scales. You can see that blue flag with the white blue with the white marlin on it. A white marlin release on the off season today. Yeah, look at those dogs in that boat. Somebody tell me what kind of dogs they are. I'm going with Irish Wolfhound. Three of them? Well, this will be a great story. All right, y'all, let's welcome the off season here to Big Rock Landing.
just a quick check here on the Dolphin leaderboard. This is a 27.8 pound Dolphin. Good for now for second place. 28.2 on the Flying Fish is still our leader. Twenty-seven point eight pound dolphin caught on the yellow fin. Another Moorhead City boat. Ties up down by the sanitary restaurant. I look. Come up here and tell us about the dogs real quick. Okay. I, I know uh, this is uh, off the off season. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Abby Jones, Stoneville, North Carolina. Where okay. in the world is Stoneville, North Carolina? Northeast of Greensboro. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, thirty minutes north of Greensboro. Horse farm there. And and uh, boat stays in Beaufort, obviously. It does. Yes. Yeah. Now, I know I know you've had you've had a nice little catch today, but everybody wants to know about these dogs. Tell us the story. Okay, so Irish wolfhounds are very rare, and I do a rescue, and they're all three rescues. Um, Shadow there, the dark one. This is her third year backing in at Big Rock, <laughs> and the last two years, KWLA, she had to learn to crawl on her belly because it was rough, right? So yeah, all three of them rescues, and they all are, love the water. Stormy, the furthest one away, wants to swim with the dolphins all the time. All Can you keep them in the boat? Oh yeah, yeah, they they will stay, but when we open the door, they're out there. They're out there. So this is a really funny thing. I had a friend yesterday when there was there's been no tuna wade last year or so far this year, and so he bet me that I couldn't weigh a tuna. At, at the Big Rock, and I said, any tuna? And he said, any tuna. And so I caught a tuna. This is my money fish. This is my money fish. This fish right here is my money fish. I have a friend that bet me quite a bit of money that I could not catch a tuna and weigh in at the Big Rock, and I just wanted to say I did. Right. All right. So, well, congratulations yeah. to you. Thank you. Those little dolphin. I mean, when we first started in, we were still in the money, but there's some bigger ones now. But this fish is worth thirty, I think. Hey, 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 hey! That's all right. We'll take it. Good job, lady anglers doing it here one way or the other at the Big Rock. Yeah, I know you, you heard Abby say that she's fished in uh, several Big Rock events. Um, I think a lot of times she's the captain, maybe. Sometimes she's the mate. Today she's the angler, it looks like. Abby and all of her Irish wolfhounds.
fish stories abound, it seems. Well, good job, Abby Jones and the crew of the offseason. Glad to have you back here at Big Rock Landing. That tune is going to be awful sweet, I would think. I was checking uh, just again a little rule check there with uh, Randy Gregory, our waymaster. That tuna was a blackfin tuna, so it uh, it might earn Abby a little bit of money on her side bet there. Uh, but the tuna category for the Big Rock tournament is for yellowfin tuna. So she won a little bet but is not going to take the lead in the tuna division in this year's Big Rock Tournament. Again, looking at our leaderboard, 28.2 pound dolphin on the flying fish, I think is still in the lead and that we saw the yellowfin just a few minutes ago at 27.8. So those are the numbers to keep in mind. This one's not going to quite do it. Nice dolphin nonetheless. 21.3 pound dolphin on the Stetson's Revenge. Rodney Alston, our angler. Captain Brian Spicer. Looks like our dolphin action here, our game fish action, might be slowing down just a little bit to give us a chance to catch our breath. This is 27 pounds on the dolphin. Not quite going to make that 27.8 pound second place fish, but a nice one nonetheless. Another one on the Stetson's Revenge. At least you'll win the boat bet for the largest fish on his own boat. Gray Austin, our angler here on the Stetson's Revenge, both of them. They're gonna eat well tonight, that's for sure. Good job, fellas.
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is our first junior angler of the day. Am I right? Am I right, Carly? This is an 18.7 pound dolphin caught by a junior angler. And we do. And, it, and the Big Rock Tournament takes time at the awards banquet to, welcome, to uh, acknowledge our junior anglers, the future of our sport. Delighted to see uh, young ladies here and junior anglers to boot on the smoke show. Mary Mallison Harrell brought her own fan club with them. How about that? Good job, Mary Harrell. And a very nice dolphin. We got some time for more pictures on this one. All right, well, let's hear it for Mary Mallison Harrell, our junior angler. A very nice dolphin, 18.7 pound dolphin today on the smoke show. All right, guys, we're going to take uh, just a little break here. Things have uh, settled down for just a second. Oh, sure, sure. Come on. Yeah. Tell us who you are again and where you're from. I'm Mary Mallison. I'm from Ocracoke, North Carolina. From Ocracoke. Where are you fishing from today? Out of Ocracoke or in Beaufort or Moorhead? Beaufort. Beaufort. Tell us about your day and this fish that you caught. Um, I was very sick. <laughs> I threw up a lot, but uh, I heard that there was a fish on, so I got in the chair and started reeling. Probably made you feel a little bit better right off the bat, too, didn't it? Yes, sir. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, now, tell us, who are, the, who are your fan club members over here? Uh, the Medicos, uh, Pogies, Ethan and Laney, and then my parents, Gaffers. And who are you fishing with today? The Smoke Show. Any any other members of your family on the boat? No, sir. Mom and Dad sent her off by herself today. How about that? Yeah, yeah. You're, teach, you're teaching her right, Mom and Dad. Good, good for y'all. Well, congratulations. How does it feel to be standing here at Big Rock Landing, leading the Junior Angler Division in the 64th Annual Big Rock Tournament? I can't believe it. <laughs> Well, there you go. Can't believe it. That's just what it's all about, folks. We love to celebrate our junior anglers and a fine young lady junior angler at that. So let's hear it for uh, Mary Mallison Harrell and the crew of the Smoke Show. 18.7 pound dolphin. Congratulations. That's what it's all about right here. All right, well, we're going to catch our breath here for just a second. Get an update on uh, remaining blue marlins that are boated or still fighting. We'll check that for you. We'll have that for you here in just a second. I know uh, the scientists over there in the uh, NC State booth have got some stuff for us to look at. So let's take a break here. Y'all stay with us right here. We've got obviously lots more to come here at Big Rock Landing. Uh, at least a couple more blue marlins on the way. And uh, our game fish scales are open until seven o'clock. We've got 25 minutes and some change on that. And of course, stay with us, enjoy uh, enjoy the Moorhead City waterfront. I know the folks from Salt Life over here, they sent me a note. What did they have to say? Uh, if you go by the Salt Life tent, they've got free decals and koo koozies. While there, you can register for a free gift bag right over here to your left, to my general right. Uh, go visit them. Lots of other folks, our sponsors are here uh, selling their products. Um, take time to go visit the Big Rock shop. 
buy a t-shirt, a hat, whatever. Uh, something that says Big Rock Tournament on it. A great souvenir, something to take home with you. And of course, all of the money, uh, the profits from sales at the Big Rock Shop go straight to our local charity and the Big Rock Foundation. So you'll be doing, uh, doing yourself a favor and us too, and we would appreciate that. So enjoy yourselves here on the Moorhead City Waterfront. We'll be back here with you in just a few minutes with an update on what we can all expect here as day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament rolls on.
All right, guys, we've uh, had a chance to collect, to uh, catch our collective breath here for just a second. Um, we've heard from the Bad Habit. Looks like they're going to be here about 7.15, 30 minutes or so. Um, the wall hanger after that seven-hour fight, as I recall, uh, they look like they're going to be here about 8.15. And then we still have the redemption hooked up since 2.09. So they're working on five hours now of fighting a what we obviously think is a blue marlin. Um, so we've got, uh, you know, game fish scales are open for another 20 minutes. If I check my uh, timing right, I can go head up to the Big Rock office and have a bottle of water. How about that? <laughs> and be back. So I'm going to take a break real quick. Y'all enjoy yourselves down here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Uh, we'll check the uh, NC State crowd when I get back, Brandon. Uh, maybe for a little bit of uh, dinner preview over there. Uh. And then we'll be on the lookout for the Bad Habit at 7.15, the Wall Hanger around 8.15, and we will try our best to keep you up to date on the redemption, uh, fighting what we think is a Blue Marlin, obviously, since 2.09 this afternoon. So... I'm going to check out. Henry might talk to you for a little while, but uh, I'm going to step out here for just a second. Be right back.
they're they're loading these uh, blue marlin up, and they will take them over to the NC State Marine Biology Lab here in Moorhead City, and they will be dissected and uh, studied. That is what they do with the blue marlins that are caught. Has anybody ever eaten any blue marlin? Who waved their hand? Come on, I don't believe you. Have you really? You know it's illegal to eat it in the United States. Arrest that man. <laughs> but we were talking about it earlier today. Actually, um, there are people in Hawaii that like to um, smoke it and eat it. Does that make any sense to y'all? Anybody want some blue marlin for dinner? Negative. You do not. But some of those Wahoo that came in here this afternoon, boy, if you can see those on the menu at Moorhead this week, you need to jump on those because that stuff's good. And the dolphin, the mahi. I just had some over at Redfish a minute ago with my wife. George, they're going to NC State, right? Okay, guys, we're going to bring it up. We're going to stop it right up there, so let's take a look. Please do not get in the truck. They're going to stop the truck right up here so you can actually look at it if you want to take the kids up there, but don't touch, please. But they'll stop the truck so you can get a close look if you want to. But please do not uh, come out and uh, try to touch the fish. But if you want to get some pictures, you can do that. Don't get near the truck. Don't get in the truck? Yeah, you can Okay, you can, uh, they're saying you can touch it, but don't get in the truck. But uh, he's going kind of fast now, so I don't know. Looks to me, okay, he stopped. If you want to go, you can't. They're saying don't get in the truck, but you can touch the fish if you like. Again, all the blue marlin that are caught in the tournament are taken to the NC State Marine Lab. They will be dissected to see if there are any um, male bodies in them. No, I'm just kidding. Some wives may have fed their husbands to the fish out there. You never know. We're expecting the bad habit in in um, about 30 minutes. The bad habit hooked up early this morning. Actually, it was the wall hanger. We're expecting the wall hanger in about 8.15. So if you want to hang around, you're going to see something coming in. Now, here's a story on wall hanger. It... They hooked up with this blue marlin this morning at about 10 o'clock a.m. And they didn't get it on the boat until about 6. So what does that tell you? Huh? You think it's a big one? Well, we've been talking about the possibilities. Uh, Curtis Strange was here earlier. Curtis has done a lot of fishing. Yeah. They're saying the fish could have gotten under the boat. They could have had some tangling done. May have taken them a while to get them untangled. We don't know. I don't know that's what happened. But if you fight a fish for seven hours, you got to think you got a chance. You got a pretty big fish. And that one is due in here about 8.15. That's the wall hanger. But we have another boat coming in in about 30 minutes at about 7.30. That one is called the bad habit. So far today, if you haven't been keeping up on the Big Rock app, the mercenary came in with the first blue marlin today, and it was a nice one, 572.6 pounds. 
And because it was the first fish in the tournament, over 500 pounds, it won already. That fish has won $777,750. Is that you? Huh? Did you win the first one last year? I remember when you guys came in. You're on the natural? What's your name? Heath Fulcher. How much did y'all win? All together, 1.29 million. 1.29. Did you invest it? Yes, if sir. you did, you lost it. <laughs> yeah. You're da- hey, I got bad news. Hey, You're down 30%. In- we invested back in your boat, so. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, you did it. Hey, you were smart if you invested it back in the boat and then put it in the market this year. Yep. 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 Well, congratulations. Are, we are you, this year? Are you uh, did you fish today? Yes, sir. You going out tomorrow? Nope. Weather going to look rough tomorrow? Uh, we'll go Wednesday. You just going to take a day off? Yeah, we seen two or three, hooked one, lost one, but anyway, we'll get one. All right, you know the rules. You can, um, you can fish four days. You have to lay two days. So the natural is going to lay tomorrow and go back out on Wednesday. There's a nice dolphin. Is that Michael Jordan's dolphin? <laughs> If y'all were here earlier, Michael Jordan came in and weighed a dolphin, and he led the tournament for about 30 minutes. What's that dolphin? So they didn't want their fish. Michael Jordan's crowd, they didn't want their fish, and they left it here. So the NC State guys got it and cut it up. They're going to have it for dinner. NC State going to eat Michael Jordan's fish? If he'd have known that, he wouldn't have left it. At least it wasn't Duke guys. All right, if you got some children that want to get up close to this dolphin, he's bringing it around for you to look at. Is that the leading dolphin? That's not the leading. That's not one of the biggest ones we had today. But get the kids up here and let them look at that fish and maybe touch it. All right, well, my timing is impeccable. 
Let's be prepared to welcome the bad habit here to Big Rock Landing. There you go, everybody. Welcome the bad habit here to Big Rock Landing. Beautiful Hatteras sport fisherman. You see that blue marlin flag up in his outrigger? Beautiful blue marlin here in the cockpit. Interesting aspect here on the boat, you can see the GoPro camera looking down into the cockpit. The rules are very specific that you have to provide video evidence or a very clear photo of a released billfish, and that GoPro is there for a reason. Probably get some nice video out of it too for your YouTube channel, right Henry? Yeah, checking the leaderboard here as we get ready to weigh in to Bad Habits Blue Marlin. The silver lining is in third place, 401.3 pounds. The high yield in second place, 536.8. And the Mercenaria in first place, 572.6. So, no, oh, they're in everything. No, that's the high yield. Bad habits. Oh. So anyway, we're looking at third place fish here, 401.3. Second place, 536.8. And to take the lead, 572.6. Okay, here we go. There you go. Oh, we got to take a little break here. All right, let's encourage our boys here. Beautiful blue marlin. I don't know, they're huffing and puffing pretty good there. We need a little more encouragement. Lost the glove. Wow. Just a little bit more it looks like. How about that? All right guys.
Look at the color on that fish. That's a pretty fish, yes, isn't it's it? It's a beautiful, beautiful blue marlin. 401, 536, and 572 is the leaderboard right now. And then, What, what was it? 526.7 pounds. Good enough. This is your new third place fish. Right now, unofficially, we're talking about $283,000 for the bad habit right here on day one. If it holds up. Five hundred and thirty six point eight pounds. It is. No, it's not five thirty six. What did you tell me? It's Excuse me, five twenty six. All right, everyone, let's, let's introduce here Jennifer Miller, who's waving, I guess, a lady angler. Which one is Jennifer? There's our lady angler. There you go. 526.7 pound blue marlin. Good for third place here. On the bad habit, John Steele, our captain. Yeah. 
Never even saw it. Hit the short, right short. Hold on just a second. Hey, look, while we're taking some pictures here, we're going to get the inside scoop. Tell us about your day here. It's a heck of a day. It started long. We were plugging, hearing everybody hooking up. Didn't see much. Finally got to see some good bait. Good swirl behind the teaser. Thought we lost it. Next thing you know, long rhine's going long. And it will, we're kind of glad the tail is the way it is because we might have been hooked up a little longer. <laughs> She was definitely prop for uh, pulling, not speed. Yeah. Tell us about your angler. How did uh, how did Jennifer do? She does great in the chair. She really does. She might hate us by the end of this one because we yelled at her a little bit. But, you know, <laughs> that's par for course for the game. <laughs> well, it kind of goes with the territory here. So. We're more yelling so the captain can hear us. We yell so the captain can hear us. She's just a bystander. She's good on a fish, though, and she can really get on one. We put her next to that fish. Looks like that fish can swallow her. Uh, no matter how you shake it, great day. Anytime you get to kill one at this tournament, it is just a blessing, to say the least. We've been all fishing our whole lives. This is a dream come true. I mean, you would get to weigh a fish at the Big Rock landing. How, how many times have y'all uh, fished in the Big Rock tournament? I think John's going on eight or nine years now, and um, I've been a mate for probably about five. Zach's probably fished a total of 10 or 12. I mean, he's – fourth or fifth generation Moorhead City and I'm from Sneeds Ferry we, we love this tournament how does it how does it feel to weigh in a fish at Big Rock Landing is this your first one here first blue marlin here at Big Rock Landing it is the first blue marlin I've weighed at the Big Rock Landing yes sir it is it's undescribable it is I mean you see why the, the the people are here you see why the teams are here the tournaments you see the the amount of people from around the world who uh, play in this sport it's for a good reason. I can't never go back to bass fishing. <laughs> Son, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, we got to have a little liquid courage here in the uh, tournament fishing business. Jump back in there and celebrate with your crowd. I got popped right between the eyes with the cork there. Whoa! What is it? What is it they say on your show, Henry? Hey now! Right? Hey now! <clears throat> Taking one for the team here. Well, let's interrupt our celebration here for just a second with an update on the redemption. Having been hooked up since 209 today, they have just called in a released fish. So, uh, the bad habit you see here in the seven o'clock hour taking uh, third place position. And we will wait here until about 8.15 or so for the wall hanger to make an appearance. After another lengthy fight today, they should be here, you know, estimated in about an hour or so. If we hear anything different, we'll let you know. But we'll get a lot of pictures here. Tree, we'll get these guys over to talk to you too, you and Derek. 
of time to Jennifer. All right, we're going to see if we can get the lady angler over here. All right, get to, get your grandma in there. Get the picture. Yeah. In there. Woo! Jennifer's 98-year-old grandmother is down here. Woo! And she put up with all my crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's welcome the lady angler, Jennifer Miller. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll tell you, 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 look like, you look like you're freshly showered and ready to go out to dinner. You don't look like you've been fighting a fish all day. I am definitely not freshly showered, but I would like to go to dinner because I'm starving. <laughs> well, let's hear the story. Tell us about this fish. Um, well, we caught it. <laughs> We caught it on the left long. It hit the left shore, and I was down in the cockpit by myself because everybody was snacking and uh, taking breaks, and I was down there panicking and <laughs> caught it. And I was like, help, 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 and they came and put me in the chair. So how long, how long did you fight that fish? Uh, hour and 15 no, minutes. 40, 45, 50 minutes. Oh. The captain says no, 45 or 15 minutes. No. I hear that they were yelling at you when you were in the chair. What were they yelling? I, I can't say. Can't say those words? I can't say. <laughs> I mean, they, this is a family show, Henry. They were, they were just it's yelling. a family show. They were just yelling instructions, right? Lots of instructions, lots of encouragement, so it was great. Is this, is this your first blue marlin? No. It's not? No. How many have you caught? I caught... A big one that was what around 660 last year in May. Wow! So this is this is small potatoes for you. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, good enough for third place. Absolutely. Good Great enough. It holds up. Angler, you got it. You gotta love it. Let's hear it for Jennifer Miller, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> good stuff. Whoops. Out. Sorry, George. I stepped on George trying to get away. No. no, mate. Oh, you're the mate? First mate. All right, I'm over here. Zach Willis, right? Yeah, Zach Willis. Yeah, come on. Come on. This is your chance to do a commercial for you. 
for your charter business and the whole thing. That's right. So, Zach, in, introduce your daughter here, too. This is Miss Cora LaRue. Say hello. Hi. Are you proud of Daddy today? Say so, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are. You tell them that your blue fantasy you called this year was bigger than that one? <laughs> um, I'm bigger than that one. Yeah, she did. She called a bigger blue fin than that one. Now, Zach, you've been fishing out of Moorhead for a long time. We've been a part of the Big Rock since uh, 2005, 2004. Daryl Brower, I'm a fishing partner, got me started. Bad, yeah. Buddy Daniels, you know, I got to say, I, I learned a lot from them. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one of these things you just got to wait your turn. And, and we're thankful to be here today. And today was our turn. We caught a nice one. I mean, yeah. Whether it holds or not, it doesn't matter. We're, we're here to have a good time, and we caught a nice fish. Yeah, and, you know, we talked about it earlier with some members of your crew. Being able to stand here where so much history has been made has got to be a great experience. Tell us how that really feels. It, it goes a long, long ways, because I can tell you I killed one with Daryl. It didn't make weight, and the last fish that Junior Johnson killed in the Big Rock on the drop call I was a part of was made for that one. We actually caught it on the same exact lure, and this fish is the same exact size. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding you, but you know, it, it's just, it, it's, it, it's something somebody can't explain the feeling of, you know, seeing all these people and being able to come here and string one of these bad boys up. It's just, it's awesome, man. It's absolutely awesome. Well, I, I know, know it feels good, but hey, no. the wall hanger is here too, so a little ahead of schedule. Right, Zach, man. congratulations to you and your crew. Nicely done. You. Your third place fish here on the Bad Habit, 526.7 pounds. Good for third place. George tells me though, the wall hanger is here. I don't see him. The wall hanger is the fish that was hooked at 10 o'clock this morning and they fought it till 6 o'clock, right? To about 5 o'clock. They fought the fish for seven hours. About a seven hour fight, as I recall. So we're wondering how big this fish might be coming in on the wall hanger. They're about to hang it here in a minute, so don't go away. All right, let's say goodbye to the bad habit. Your third place Blue Marlin right now. Great job, fellas. Beautiful Blue Marlin. A lot of excitement. That's what it's all about here. All right, we've just confirmed with uh, Waymaster George here that the wall hanger is, uh, is in bulkhead channels on the way. So a little early. Suits my schedule just fine, Henry.
Henry, I got nailed with a cork from a Dom Perignon bottle. I was running. I was running twelve vintage, no less. I was running away from it. If I'd known that it was Dom Perignon, yeah, you, I'd have just gone in and stuck my you, tongue you, out. Yeah, you had your cup out. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll know. A celebration uh, worthy of uh, finishing in third place. Yeah, no kidding. In the Big Rock Tournament on day one. The 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. How about that? Going to be interesting to hear the story of this fish that comes in. Yep. And why, they, uh, why it took them seven hours to get it on board. That'll be your job. <laughs> you go find our angler. All right. Yep, here we come. All right, you yeah, can see it hey, coming up on the video you, screen. Yeah, I hadn't been watching that, but there you go, this beautiful dark blue hauled boat. There it comes. Turning the corner here at the port. They'll be here in just a few minutes. Give you a chance to collect the rest of your crowd. Good looking crowd tonight, Henry. Yeah. Everybody having fun? Everybody off all week? <laughs> Anybody care whether you're off all week or not? You retired. That's what I'm talking about. George wants to know how many of y'all told your boss you had COVID this week. <laughs> Come on, George. I believe the wall hangers getting the police escort from the Moorhead City Police coming in here. <laughs> Is that in the boat that the Big Rock provided to the town of Moorhead? That very one. That's it. There you go. By the way, Tommy Bennett is one of the guys that makes this happen. Oh, hush, Henry. You guys know that the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament has put over $7 million back into this community. How about that? Let's hear it for Tommy and the board. Yeah, a million dollars alone last year, Henry. Thanks yeah. for bringing it up. That's really, yeah. you know, you, you see the, uh, the Big Rock family here on display every year, uh, but there's a lot to it uh, yeah. the other 51 weeks of the year. People we may not realize, you know, this is not just about – fishing it's about doing some great things for moorhead Absolutely. city and you guys you guys do a great job with it i'm thank you sir proud thank of you, you. Sir. all right well as the uh as the wall hanger prepares to uh enter the slip henry let's just let's check that leaderboard a lot of these people are younger than i am they can remember all these numbers but <laughs> I, I, there's a there's a lot going on up well, here our first fish was still the biggest one <laughs> yeah yeah it seems like ages ago. Uh, <laughs> a lot but, of fish brought looking in Looking at there. it right now, the, uh, the silver lining in fourth place, 401.3 pounds. The bad habit, you just saw it, 526. High yield here just a few minutes ago, 536 pounds. And then, of course, the mercenaria, 572.6. So that third place mark is 526.7 uh, that's the that's the uh, money place mark here, and we'll check the wall hanger. They are in uh, all the levels, so that that super twenty is still available. Here, here comes the Moorhead City Police Escort. Obviously, Henry, we saw uh, the mercenary win the level five. How much money did you say that was? Seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. But if they stay in first place, yeah, what is it? They can three win three and a half million, three million four hundred eighty-nine thousand eight hundred thirteen dollars. Now, is anybody here from the Mercen area? I bet you they're watching I us, and they're, they're really watching. nervous about this boat coming in. But no matter what happens, right. they still get that seven hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars. That's do. not a bad payday. All right, well, here comes the wall hanger. It's a beautiful 63-foot Spencer. Oh, that's a beautiful boat, isn't it? It passes me in the waterway uh, <laughs> often. Built in Wanchese, North Carolina. 
hard to believe something like that can go 40, 45 miles an hour. Yeah. Just unbelievable. These guys on the boat look serious. Look at them. They're looking forward to their way, and you can tell it. Again, you see that blue marlin flag on the outrigger signifying that they have a blue marlin in the boat. There it is. You saw on the catch 23, the uh, blue marlin flags turned upside down, signifying the release. This one flying right side up, meaning they've got one in the boat. All right, we've been waiting for this one all day today, folks. The number to beat, 572 pounds. Let's see if these guys are All right, let's it. welcome the wall hanger here to Big Rock Landing. There you go. This is going to be it for tonight. Again, after a very long fight today, since two o'clock, the Redemption released their fish. So this will be our final Blue Marlin of day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Got a right good sized crew here. I just took a peek. What do you think, Henry? I think it's a big fish. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> Henry, as they say, that's that's a, looks like a blue marlin, only smaller, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we will find out here shortly again. You've seen it several times today. Randy Gregory, our waymaster, will hop on board here. Take some measurements and uh, we'll put our way station to crew, way station crew to work again. Henry, it takes a lot of people to catch a blue marlin, apparently. <laughs> a lot wow. of people on that boat. That's Yes, sir. I tell you what, they look focused, too. They do. You, you know, <laughs> the, the modern crew now, you, you've got to have anglers, obviously. you got to have wire men. you got to have gaff men. But you got to have a, a video guy. Photographer, gal, yeah. you got to have that as, as important as anybody now. We were talking about that this the, morning. On about the release side of things. The uh, Lady Anglers Tournament, of course, is release. And that video and photographic evidence is, um, is yeah. make or break. A lot of money. You know, Henry, you mentioned the crew looks awfully serious. A lot of money at stake here. Oh, yeah. I'd look serious, too. Yep. Now, again, just to remind you, that top number, 572.6, is the first place number right now. Here it comes. Okay, here we go. Cheer them on, guys. That's Let's a heavy fish. Some encouragement. <laughs> All right, keep going, boys. You're almost there.
I think they're glad this is the last one of the day. <laughs> They've been doing this all they day. They have gotten a workout today. A day. lot of fish come to the dock. Another today. beautiful blue marlin. Oh, that is a big fish. Boy. Is it bigger than 572.6 pounds? Yes. I think it is. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not an expert. We'll find out. Not going to do it. Five hundred and fifty-six pounds. Oh, second place. Does not take first place, but it's a big fish. 556.4 pounds, I believe, is what Randy says. This is your new second place fish. Right here on day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. A lot of excitement here on the wall hanger. Carly says looking at a potential $426,000 payday right now. They're in all the levels. Another lady angler caught the fish. Wow. How about that? Another lady <laughs> angler. <laughs> Good for you. The, the ladies get off the boats after all this work. They look like a million bucks, don't they, Henry? <laughs> really? She doesn't look like you she know, fought the, a fish for seven the hours. The guys like are all <laughs> dragging around. The girls get off, and they look great. <laughs> All right, there you see it, 556.4 pounds of beautiful blue marlin here. Good enough for second place on day one of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Looks like our angler is Stacy Allen, Captain Brian Allen. Any relation? Well, Henry, you're going to go over there and find out in just All a right. minute. <laughs> well, we got to hear this story. Get some pictures. We got to hear the story about this fish. Yeah, some of the stories are coming out about the uh, the fight here. Les Collins came over and said it was literally one crank at a time for about two hours. You know, that's like three or four inches of line with a crank, if you're lucky. Somebody pulling on the line and you cranking at the same time. Just think about that for two hours at a time. It's a water jet hour, folks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And Randy Gregory just reminded me that this is a water jet powered boat, not your traditional diesel motors with propellers on a shaft under the bottom of the boat. They had a dog on board. Another one. The dog part that of the must catch? Be the, that must be the lucky charm thing, Henry. Yeah, it must be. I'm still amazed that our young lady angler here <laughs> whipped this thing by herself seven hours, apparently. Got to have the dog in the picture, apparently. First picture didn't count, but count didn't have the dog didn't in it. Didn't have the dog. First mate right there. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Henry, lots of smiles here. You know, 556 pounds. All right, Stacy, can we get you over here? Can we get you over here? All right, everybody, let's welcome Stacy Allen, the lady angler. Man, you look great. I can't believe you fought a fish for seven hours. I did. Did you go in and prep or something before you I came? I did. You did? <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank you. All right, we've got to hear the story. You guys fought this fish, or you fought it for seven hours, and I heard it was a tough fight. It was a very tough fight. It was He, he took us down to the white line, and he stayed there for hours and hours. The first hour, my left foot went completely numb, and then everything was fine. And then the second hour, this right toe went numb, and then my high knee started. Everything, I'm very sore. Everything's sore. So when that fish pulls you, he was... So you, all, all you're worried about is your sore hiney? Well, it's pretty bad because when you're strapped in... When How about your arms? How'd your arms do? They're really sore, but they're good. We fought, We caught one um, We caught one in the Lady Angler uh, KWLA tournament Saturday. We caught that one, too. And that was a... How long did we fight? I think it was an hour and ten minute. Hour and ten minute fight that day. But today, time flies when you're on the water. And... Um, I thank God for gloves because. Um, you see your hands. Blister, Look at those hands. She's doing good. All right. And your husband Brian is the uh, is the captain. He is. Was he was he nice to you during that? Was he yelling at you? What was he doing? He's always nice, but for some reason I tend to take off my headgear about halfway through the fight. I can't hear it anymore. You didn't want to listen anymore. No, I didn't. Well, that is a heck of a fish. Have you ever caught one that big? I have not. I've caught one once before, and I really wish we had killed him because I really wanted to see how heavy he was. But this was a, this was a really special day for the whole team because my daughter, we fished. We've been fishing together for over their whole lives in 10 years or more, and she said, I don't understand why we can't have a kill tournament in the Lady Anglers. 
with the Lady Angler Tournaments. Well, you have to talk to the rules committee about that. Well, so, uh, <laughs> Tommy. We proved we can do it today. <laughs> All right. Well, good. Well, congratulations. Yeah. That is really something. Are you guys from Moorhead? We are from Raleigh, but we we do have a place here, in Moorhead. So yeah, born and raised right here. Well, congratulations. Born and raised North Carolina, but grew up coming to the beach down here. So. This is like well, that's fantastic. Let's hear it for Stacy Allen. 556.4, second place. Brian Allen, her husband. Oh, let's get Brian up here. Brian, get up here. How you doing? Congratulations. Uh, let's hear your part of the story. Oh, wow, what an exciting day. Um, it got down deep, and it was like one crank at a time. She was on the reel for about an hour and a half, and we started talking to her about, hey, you want some relief? In the Big Rock, you don't have to, you know, someone can, can jump in and help you out, and she would not give it up. <laughs> We got three hours in and she was not giving up. And then at four, five, we got to six. And I'm like, are we ever gonna get this fish up? And um, we got it. So she got it all by herself. Yeah. Well, that's great. That's great. Congratulations. Well, look, good, good for you guys, both of you. Congratulations, second place right now. Carly, how much is on the line? Second place, if this fish holds. 420. Four hundred thousand, four hundred twenty-six thousand dollars for second place. How about that? So good luck. We got a lot of fishing left, but this fish right now in solid second place. All right, Tommy. Yes, sir. Thank you, Henry. So let's check that leaderboard just so we'll, uh, everybody will know it one more time. Mercenaria currently in first place, uh, winning all the money. A super twenty level. 572.6 pounds on their blue marlin. Uh, here we see the 556 pound blue marlin on the wall hanger. And of course, our new third place fish on the high yield, 536.8 pounds. Well, Henry, that's gonna about wrap up day one. Uh, all, you know, have to, have to kind of say all the results are kind of unofficial. The money's unofficial until the dust really settles. Uh, but I think we we got it pretty close. Great day, the Wave Paver, wow. uh, with four Blue Marlins in the uh, Sonar Release Division. The Real Current uh, picked up a daily, forty two thousand eight hundred bucks for a daily. The Wave Paver, thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars for their daily win. Um, the Dolphin category is wide open. The Flying Fish is going to win the daily prize, twenty eight point two pounds. The yellowfin there from Moorhead City, 27.8 pounds. And uh, we saw a couple of wahoos, 36.6 pounds on the frequent flyer and 24.3 on the dirty martini. $527,000 in that dolphin yeah, category. Yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, boy, that's the, really the, something. So the, the big winner uh, of the day so far, Mercenaria. You got it. 777750 guaranteed. And they're still in first place. Yep, 266 boats entered in the tournament, 246 fishing today. Total purse, $5,858,000. Wow. By Exciting far stuff. a record. I know that's chump change to you, Henry, but that's, oh, yeah. that's a lot chump of money change. to me. Chump change. Yeah, well, Let me right. tell you, this has been quite a day. I mean, we've had activity on this dock all afternoon it long. Has, it has been quite a day. What what a, what a way to kick off yeah. the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We so. had heard the fishing was going to be good this week, so everybody come back. It's, and keep not disappointed. Keep showing up at Big Rock Landing. All right, well, I'm sure the uh, we'll keep the cameras on here for a little bit. But, Henry, it's time for us to sign off here. See you tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you, Henry. Y'all enjoy yourselves here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Uh, help the crew of the wall hangar celebrate a little bit more. Plenty of spots to have dinner here. A little entertainment if you'd like. Go visit the Big Rock store. They'll be open until 9 o'clock. Remember, everything you buy over there, the profits go to the Big Rock Foundation and our charities here. Uh, the aid of charities here in Moorhead City and Carteret County. For those of you that are joining us around the world on Big Rock TV, thank you for uh, being with us today. Those of you here on the Moorhead City waterfront, we thank you too. Everybody have a great evening. As we leave you here with uh, second place fish on the wall hanger, 556.4 pound blue marlin. 
Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow for day two of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.